Let's see. There we go. We're live. That took longer than I would have liked. But it's fine. Nicole! Hey! What up? Can't change any of that. No controller, because I didn't buy the Fallout controller. Because I hate myself. Do, 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 do. We're going to toggle run. What up, Nicole? How you doing? I am doing fantastic. Thank you. I hope you're having a wonderful day as well. I can't believe you told me that you were going to be late to the game tonight, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Kayla! Hey! What up, girl? How you doing? I'm going through some settings right now. Yeah, so what I posted in the, uh, Mihone, what up? What I posted in, in the chat earlier today is that when I first loaded up this game, it had everything on as high as it goes, and it had the, um, the frame rate on unlimited, and it almost blew up my graphics card. Uh, my graphics card was at critical mass. It was, it was terrible. You're okay, you guess. What's up, Kayla? What's wrong? We are here for you. Also, hello, Taro. Mama Taro. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I want to play on hard. So we're going to play on hard. No one's going to stop me either. Resident Evil was so easy. I have to play on hard. What's up, Bitter? Do it, fuck it. All gas, no brakes, baby. Let's go. All right, modern extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Old school. I, no, no, I like highlights. We're going to go with highlights. We're already playing hard. We'll go hard modern. A, G, and B. All gas, no brakes, baby. Let's go. Kayla, I'm, I'm sorry to hear about that. I, that shit's scary. We're here if you want to talk. And this toad is... Beautiful. No, 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 no! Oh, no. Zero out of ten game. Uninstall. Refund. Are we in an actual Model T? Where's Tonto at? Look at that! Anniversary time! Perfect! TWA became a member. Awesome. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? Nicole became a member. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. We're family here, Kayla. We're here to talk if you need anything. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. I love David Harbour. Possession. No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. Make sure you ask for help, Bitter. We got you, dog. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis. Figuring you might stumble upon some cure. Um, I have something interesting to say, but he I can't mentions pause a it. letter. He you received is, a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing he Daddy Hopper. And all the other patients of being involved in some cult, and now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? What up, Don? Or is it Scarlet? all just in his head? Everybody's here. It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. New sub. Thanks, Anything Vigo. To avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Facts. Here we are. My 
uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. They made David Harbour an absolute unit, and I'm here for it. He's so fucking big, he can barely fit in that vehicle. Look at that shit. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around, depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we gonna do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. I have to say, I don't like her already, but I do like him. So... Love his swag. Same. I like the tie he's got on. Cho choose character? Why is that an option? Why would anyone choose other than Daddy Hop? Let's go. Edward Carnby. First of all, Carnby is a terrible name. But obviously we're playing David Harbour. What, what is her name real quick? Emily Hartwood. That just... I, I have so many... NSFW jokes to make about the name Hartwood and her name is Jody Cummer <laughs> Carnby it is D Daddy Hopper we gotta do Daddy Hopper we we're not playing her okay hello hello looks abandoned it can't be there has to be someone around also, this game is loud as fuck, so let me know Wait if I here. need to cut it down at all. I'll go around back. For full disclosure, I have no knowledge of the original game or the remake in 08. So, all of this is brand new to me. If anything is like the previous games and you can help me out, please do so. I'm here for it. Oh my god, that is... I am barely moving my wrist. We gotta cut the sensitivity down. We gotta cut it down slightly real quick. Is it gameplay? No. Controls? Okay, sensitivity. We're gonna cut it down to six. Or five. We'll do five. Yeah, Kayla, we're here for you. I'm, I'm sorry your kiddo's going through some things. I know exactly how that is. All too well. This all seems very normal. Phoenix, my guy. What's up, buddy? Ian's in the house tonight. Now, what do we got here? We get the classic PlayStation 1 era clip-on flashlight. Love that. Call back to the classics. Kitchen garden key. Okay. How do I cut the light on? Is there a button for it or is it automated? I've got a new keyboard. So, like, if I hit the wrong buttons, I am totally sorry, but this thing is tiny. I love it. It looks beautiful, but it is so tiny, and my hands are hitting every key. Tonto! What's up, buddy? The new roadhouse is good? We have to check it out. It's so nice to see everyone here tonight. We have so many of our classics and our favorites here. Thanks for being in, guys. I genuinely appreciate you. Also, how many subs are we at today? We hit 1,800 last night. Are, are there deaths in this game? Yes, it is going to be like a Resident Evil game. How do I... How do I cut this light on? Uh, up on the... On the wait, no? Okay, the arrows actually move me like I'm playing on a PlayStation. How do I... Will not, cannot betray Patrick Swayze in any way. Okay, I, I'm sorry. I gotta look at these controls real quick. Control, control layout. Nope, well not that. K keyboard layout. Key binding. Where's the light? Flashlight? It Why? No, no, no. We're not, we're not doing this. Melee attack is V. Flashlight is F. Who? Who decided this? Who decided this? There we go. Beautiful. It's F for flashlight and... And V for Vele. Everyone knows that. Alright, 
Jesus, how many deaths tonight? Oh god. I've only got six rounds where I would execute this kitten. Because that's a kitten, right? It's gone. Okay. That was a kitten. Oh my god. Talk about a stutter from hell. Jesus Christ. Let's... I, I know I keep messing with the settings, but I want us all to have a good experience. So let me just change the field of view real quick. It's at 65 right now. The average shooter is 80. So let's go 85. Kitten violence. <laughs> Unsubscribe. Unmod. Bye. Nah, you're boring. I'm not getting in there. All right, we need a chain door. Sour cream and onion or salt and vinegar. Both are solid choices, but um, sour cream and onion for me. <laughs> Threatened Garfield. Garfield came at me on a Monday, dude. What do you want from me? Sour cream and onion? Hell yeah, fuck yeah, Nicole. Let's go. Hmm. Alright, we need some kind of way to reach that. I'm assuming not the shovel. Oh my god, this is a stuttery mess. I see what everyone was complaining about. Fuck. I, I am going into this game in a salty mood because it almost blew up my computer. So, housekeeper's key. Grab that. That's one big tree to fit inside a conservatory. So keep that in mind. Sorry, with Italian herb. I mean, that just makes it better. Get the extinguisher. Here we go. We need, like, some kind of hook? Like, what do we... Bullets! We should have shot the cat. We should have done it. Everyone knows black cats are bad business. I am totally kidding. I love black Kit cats, so... go. I want to know what was in that hole in the backyard, though. Don't be a racist. Don't forget to punch the like button. And... Don't mind if I... Hold on, I, I gotta nip this one in the bud real quick. Yeah, let, let's, let's, let's do this. Yeah. It's gonna be one of those nights. Dude, I love black cats. They experience the most problems in shelters and shit. So, like, I am I am all here for our black Kit Kats. Exactly. Exactly, Dawn. Same, uh, same, same brain wavelength right there. Family Bibble. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. Oh. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many Fully have lost acted. all hope. Nice. I read in the papers about people suffering. In the papers. Pictures of dust covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of gris, -gris. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but Bibble. the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. 
That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred son, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. A quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. That's, that's I not know written. I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm, do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns. None of that is written past this. Is this supposed to be like that was cool as hell. First of all, the voice acting is actually top notch. I love it. I'm I'm already intrigued. Also, Scarlet sent me a very hilarious text just now, and I would I would like to say it out loud, but I don't know how comfortable she is with that. <laughs> a plantation owner, possibly. What year is this supposedly in? Cuz I'm not 100% sure. Nothing there. Okay. Oh, okay. I've got to cut the sensitivity down again, man. If I, if I turn my wrist slightly, we are like fully turned around. Okay. There we go. That's Jesus. That's a little bit better. The voice acting is really good. I like it a lot. Also, the house is like, it looks really nice. This is a really well done environment. Holster hat car mid uh, 20s to 30s. I was thinking probably the same. I was just waiting on it to give us an actual year. We are finding pistol ammo everywhere. Please post this. I'm at work right now just listening to the stream. Absolutely critical die. No worries. Also, thanks for stopping in. It's good to see you again two nights in a row. I hope work's not too bad. Let's see. Rat poison? Lanyap? Wait. Why does that say Lanyap? Can someone translate that really quickly and tell me what in the hell that means? Please and thank you. L A G N I A P P E? Lanyap? I have a very specific reason for. What Wait. Was that? They're all called Lanyaps. I'm sure I'm saying that completely wrong, but. Great Depression. Go without horns. Okay, these are all story related. Interesting. Nice. I still don't have a tool to get in that hole in the uh, the garden, though. More pistol bullets. Something given as a bonus or an extra gift. Okay. Bonus? Okay. The only reason I ask is because I've eaten at a Louisiana and Louisiana and Louisiana restaurant called Lanyap, and it was terrible and overpriced. So I was curious if it fucking meant rat poison because that would make sense. Tarot's correct. Um, only only some of the. Only some of the videos get turned into members only streams afterwards. If you are a member, then you have access to all the streams regardless. I do release some edited streams as uploads and turn the older ones into members only and just cut them down for viewing sake for people who weren't here. And I always do not monetize any stream until after the live is over. So. Let's go over here. More ammo. Dude, combat must be coming. This is like more ammo. What? 
are we about to get our first boss fight? I need Locked a gate. Okay, we're missing a key. Walter Hartwell White. I still gotta finish that show, dude. I've still not finished it. Ladder, that's not gonna help us. Okay, I'm assuming... Oh, we didn't go this way. Let's check this way first. Two doors. Let's not go up yet. <laughs> Jesse, we need to cook. Let's see. Sabotage, it's a Please clue. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. Okay, nothing followed. We, we kind of have to listen to all of them all the way through to make sure that nothing mm -hmm. else happens. Okay, we need pieces for this, it looks like. That doesn't look safe. Can I... I can crouch. This is not a crouch. Hop, this is not a crouch. <laughs> We're not going to be able to twerk with him either. Well, we can kind of twerk with him, right? It's weird seeing the main character in other things besides Stranger Things. Right. I know his name is David Harbour, but like, from now on, his name is Daddy Hopper. Gonna mute Bitter for an hour so he has time to do his homework. Big brain play, little brother. Let's go in here. Get down, boogie. <laughs> Alright guys, if you follow me into the first restroom, here we have the the the, um, the commode for male and female use. Um, we have the clawfoot tub. It, it's only made with halfway lead, nothing else. Um, right here is your, your racks for your towels and coats. There's only two urine stains on the ground. So, you, you can literally just put, like, a little rug over each of them. And you'll be good to go. You don't even have to remodel. The, the walls are all painted with lead-based paint, so it's, it's fireproof and it will take forever to fade. It also will not kill you unless you get it wet. So please, please do not get it wet. Um, we got one drink. Alcohol is... Alcohol restores health. 10 out of 10 game. Lottie's Diary. Sunday, June 22nd. I spent all day looking for Jeremy. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rot permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. See, now there's no rot in this house because everything is lead-based and made of asbestos. So it, it, it can't rot. It can't degrade. So. We have a locked medicine box. Flesh can rot. That's factual. Is it Dersetto? Is that what it's called? Der Dersetto, Derketto, floor plans? Jesus, I'm tongue tied over here. Why? Piazza key. Okay. Please tell me that just does not say plaza with two Z's and I fucked it up. If we're being real for just a moment, 
and you guys want to know a little bit more about me, I love this green color. I absolutely love this emerald green green paint. I love this. It looks so good. That's library. The library. Locked door. Let's try that. Piazza key. They did look like actual uh, blueprints or floor plans, if you will. Minecraft emerald moment. Like oxidized copper green? Absolutely, yes. Oxidized copper is beautiful. That may be a hot take, but it is. My favorite my favorite color is like red. Like specifically like a dark crimson red. But I absolutely do love green inside of houses. And we know green's your favorite, okay? You you're always high. You want to know if the porch ceiling is blue. As soon as we get to the porch ceiling, we'll find out. Dresetto Refuge. Not AI-generated art. That looks pretty good. Tonto, have a wonderful night, buddy. I hope you sleep well. And if you can't, come on back. We'll be here for a while. It's a four to five hour game. 1919 is the uh, the timestamp on this one, by the way. Uh, let's see. Let's let's cut that off. Then we can zoom in with tab. Actually, that's pretty cool. Dersetto in ruins in 1821. Okay. Phoenix. <laughs> this game is extremely beautiful. I've seen the trailer, but it does seem like it's going to be scary. I've seen the some of the enemies and fights. So yeah, it it, it is going to be kind of hectic for sure. I don't know about like jump scares, but there's supposedly like psychological horror elements. We just gotta see how that goes. Let's see. Press Alt F4 to get the secret ending. No, that's the main ending. That that that's not a secret ending. The Great Depression. President Hoover raises tariffs on over twenty thousand imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October twenty-four last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on rise. Jesus Christ. New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see okay. increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since Black Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau oh, no. and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of no. the French Quarter. No, Author not Marie seeks Laveau. Asylum. Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dersetto her home verified. Hoover Dersetto Soup. Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families. Because yes, at Dossetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately, it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled Slaughter Gulch. That S film is set to hit the theaters next year. Slaughter Gulch. I agree with Phoenix. If they're going to give me paragraphs upon paragraphs, at least read it to me. And so far, I like all this. It's pretty good. We've heard several different voice actors now and they're all pretty good so at least they went all in on the audio aspect this 1874 sounding guy he's got that 
Oh, no, he doesn't have that. Not, not the trans-mid-Atlantic or whatever the hell it's called accent. He doesn't have that, does he? Not this one. Bitter done fucked up telling everyone he's got a homework. Now they're all gonna mom him to go do homework. I need the key. Alright, we can't go this way. All these are locked. There's nothing else to interact with. So let's go back. Can I hug the bear? Cussing. Thanks. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me. Excuse me. My name is Edward <laughs> Carnby. Private pardon me. Sorry, man. I don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Smoking inside. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. Get her, Daddy He's Hopper. Lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hotwood? My name's Miss Edward Hotwood. Carnby, private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee. Keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Double wait, D, what up? You can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. Since when does the hell- In the corridor. It's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent. Thank you, madam. Since when does the help tell the family to go back to their rooms? It's a little suspicious, right? Like, just slightly sus? Who gave her all that power? You're telling me because she knows where the cleaning supplies are? And she controls the lemon pledge, she can tell people to go back to their rooms? It's a little sus. All right. Here we are. Let's look is that, around. Is it a naked see man? See if we can dig up any clues. Please don't tell me that's a naked man. We're gonna go straight to that photo that looks like a naked man. Okay, he's not naked. Okay, good. Don't piss off the one who knows where their lemon pledge is in a house this big. That's fair. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Oh. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawaya. I was going to say the same thing, though. I find you there, Juan. Well, Senora Pirosi, back from the beyond. Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Oh, holy shit. As I struggle to even paint. There's five pages. I wish I understood your death, Senora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest and I shall weep. Oh, is it? Is it not? Oh, I gotta hit the button to play it. That's a, that's a, that's a good one. Okay. Um, do you guys want to listen to all these? Well, I'll happily listen to all these. It, it's kind of interesting and I love voodoo shit. So... Go ahead and play this page. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Lafayette. Or how the old upstairs clock with its 
astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. Those are my memories, my past. Is there my perhaps past. a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Terra Wea? Oh, I want that more than anything. I got you, Critical. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. I'm going to say this not 100% sure, not a 100% not sure, but I'm thoroughly positive that one of Marie Laveau's victims was actually named Batiste, and he was like her prized individual. We'll just say that. The people of Deceto were becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? Mm -hmm. The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. Beauregard. I love the voice acting. It is top-notch, dude. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe. Oh, God. Except for me. I, I gotta say, I love old grimoires and things with, like, these occult drawings in it. I, I own a couple that have this kind of stuff inside of it. I love it so much. I'm not gonna lie, though. My eye is bothering me. I gotta take this contact out. You guys are about to have to watch me do it on the stream, because it feels like my eye is burning. Painted tile. Uh, that's part of a tree of life. I gotta find that. Give me a demo bitter and I will. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. I really love how well they, they modeled him after the real person, honestly. We don't have a key for this. Whenever you figure something out, Bitter, let me know. And if you need help uh, creating that sort of thing, we've got a lot of people in, in the in the Discord that work on that kind of thing. All right, we got the painted tile, so let's put it there. Oh, puzzle, okay. Oh, oh this is easy, okay. I see. Boom. Hey. You know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Build a game and go dot. Pretty unreal. I would kill a guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. I don't know anything about go dot, but I've heard about it. All right, I gotta take this contact out. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I couldn't. It had to go. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. That's striking. Oh, fuck. That was terrible. I'm I sorry. I want to save this one. Is that Willem Dafoe? Like, actually? No. Did she just 
yoink that? All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. We have a concussion right now. That's beautiful. You can't put stuff in your eyes. You can't do contacts. Come on, let's go. You guys know how yeah, I am with I'm eyes. The first time I put contacts in, it took me almost an hour to get them in. Miss Jesus, Hartwood. these stutters are insane, though, dude. Emily? Are we in the upside down now? What the hell is going on? Where am I? This makes me want to play the Cthulhu games, the Sinking City and, and stuff. What is this? Four pistol bullets? Okay, dude. Nothing in here. The portrait reminds you of Dorian Gray. I I know we've talked about that name on stream before. Is that Fifty Shades of Gray? <laughs> oh, that's funny. We can do that better. Absolutely. Hmm. The response from everyone. I love it. That was perfect, man. That was perfect. Timed and calculated and everything. Why are there bugs on the walls? <sighs> Can we go this way? More ammo. All right, let's see how tanky these, these enemies are. That is a large spread. We have to be not moving. Can we crouch and aim? We cannot crouch and aim. I I know I know it, it was a joke, you guys. That would have been a jump scare. Two, three, four, five. Mm. Move! Oh no no no! I I'm stuck. Actually, six shots, full mag. Huh. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, five headshots. Okay. This is exactly what the hell was that? That is exactly the correct amount of shots for an enemy to take, honestly. I like that. That was really good. They're not bullet spongy. It makes sense. A single mag puts them down. Less than a mag, actually. I like that a lot. I'm going to check out our surroundings a little bit. The environment has been crafted beautifully, I have to say. Even with the stutters and, and issues. Like... Also, we're running on the highest settings that we can possibly do. And it's running pretty phenomenally, even temperature-wise. Considering that it almost blew up my computer earlier, I'm genuinely surprised. More ammo. Okay, so it's about five to six rounds to take an enemy down. Go that way. It's good to know. We've got enough to take down three more enemies. A 40 series. I have a uh, Asus Tough 4080. Yeah. And I turned it on and it immediately hit 100 degrees Celsius. And since I tweaked the settings a bit, we're still on the highest the settings. I on? just, I just, uh, limited the frames and we're sitting at 44 Celsius. I'm getting very Innsmouth vibes from this, dude. I love this. The enemy model was kind of cool, too, I gotta say. Okay, we're full on drink, whatever that means. 
it's showing the d-pad in the bottom left like where my head is too you guys can't see it really like you see that like it shows the the directional pad up down right left but the d-pad doesn't work like the actual buttons just move the the camera so like i gotta figure out how to use that real quick controls key binding so how do we how do we heal Stealth is left control or Charlie. Opportunity is Q. I have no clue what that means. Investigation is I. Consume is G because why wouldn't it be G? Okay. Good to know. Examine. Dodge is spacebar. That's good to know too. Aim, range attack. So there's no melee. No, there's melee. V. We, we knew that. I changed that near the start. Okay. Okay, so... Let's do G. All right. We literally take a sip from the flask. That is a goaded animation. I love it. Let's I go can't go that way. All right, all right. Johnny the Conqueror. Bike bell interaction, 10 out of 10. Cinderella Man atmosphere. I can see that. That is a big dude. They're not the good guy. Are you? Is this your store? There are no owners here. That is a big dude. Jeremy did this. How? The pack with the dog man. Jeremy warned us, but we didn't think much of it. I'm Detective Edward Carnby. I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him. Oh, yeah? How much you paying you? $150. <laughs> She's sure getting her money's worth of that. Are you a thinking man, compare? No, not if I can help it. Oh, God. You no. Know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace that guides him. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know surprising things, compad. Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. What does compad Thanks. mean? I'll have a look. What, what, is, what does compare mean? Batiste's keys. Three keys in the chain, one that opens Miss Jackson's place in the French Quarter, the two belonging to Dersetto, and one for the clerk's office, and one for the library. Okay. Sorry, I had to move the mic a little bit. Preserved reptile. It's a good looking snake, man. More ammo. Nothing in there. Is he an actual, like, shopkeep? Can we... Can we... Buy or sell from him? $150 now would be $2,700. That's actually a pretty decent price, then. You wanna come along? Nah, I'm gonna stay here for a while. You're looking at, like, two to 5000 for, like, PI services nowadays to do something, so that's actually a pretty good price. There's so much cool shit to look at. I don't want to sprint through this game, man. Like, the environment is so well-crafted. The drying herbs and everything. Some of them partially dried already. Dude, that's so cool. Just hit him with a frying pan, Nicole. We'll be here. Also, huge shout-out to all the lurkers tonight who haven't said anything. Love you guys. Thanks for showing up. Also, if we say Jake's name enough, he may show up. Compares like a host. Thank you, Taro. Um. Okay, how does the dodge work? Spacebar. 
Okay, just a little dash forward. Got it. We're going to try to avoid that, and we're going to go this way instead. And V was melee, right? Okay, V does nothing, so I guess we can't melee. And then opportunity was Q, which does nothing right now. And then I was investigate, which... Oh, that's just our inventory. That's, that's stupid. There's our melee weapon. The classic rusty pipe. That is, this is every psychological horror game's starting weapon. Hmm. You done fucked up out of my neighborhood! Okay. Um, I like the pipe. Th that, that was fun. We just beat the shit out of him. Yeah, it was, it was totally just wrong neighborhood. What is this? Q for opportunity. Oh, it throws a rock? I didn't see that in the controls. Hey, why is it only at the tire of this car, dude? Literally, what? What are we doing here? I... I was hoping we could like push this and it would like run into that dude, but I guess not. Attack the tire, he didn't pay his taxes, right? Why is it? Why is that there? I, I'm gonna have to learn that mechanic. I don't wanna fight this, this thing, dude. It looks terrible. I really don't want to have to fight this fucking thing. Oh, it's literally just a rock is placed in that area. And that's where you grab it. Okay, quick favorite, 19, 20 to 30. I, I don't think I have one. I'll be honest. I, I don't know if I do. I would have to look and see what movies are actually from that era for me to accurately say something. can't go this way. Can we? No, we can't. We're stuck. Invisible wall. Got it. I think I have to kill this guy. He heard me. He heard me. He heard me. Set in, but not from that era. I don't know if I have the brain power to think that up right now. Let's run. Let's run. We're all expanding our vocabulary with this game tonight. Possibly. Hatchet. Nice. Yours was actually a 30s movie? What is it, though? Let us know. I can't go that Cinderella way. Cinderella Man, Untouchables. Untouchables is good. No, 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 no. Did he see me? Did he see me? He saw us. He saw us. Oh no! You spit on me! Oh, disgusting, man. Disgusting. He was actually kind of easy to kill, but oh my god, that was disgusting. Any movie that I like from like 20s, 30s or whatever, it's probably going to be like a World War One movie. Which I know is a little bit earlier, but that's all I can really think of. It's only like, what, six years earlier? Great Gatsby. I hate The Great Gatsby. Hate it. Terrible book, terrible movie. Don't even come at me. Wasn't Gone with the Wind like that same era, which I also hated? I genuinely don't know. I'm, I'm asking. 
Let's guzzle. There we guzzled. He's directly above us. I swear to God. <laughs> Much earlier. <laughs> I'm I'm too invested in something else to think right now. Eight rounds. Okay, that guy took eight rounds. He's worse against melee than the other ones are. Got it. Oh my god. We broke it! We broke it! Okay, he's dead too. Okay. Literally just enough ammo and weapons to take them out. Are we stuck? Did we glitch it? We glitched it? Okay, oh, okay, we're fine. We almost glitched it. What's wrong, Taro? What, what, what seems to be the issue? Are you upset I don't know any of your kindergarten classics from way back when? That's an old joke, by the way. I recognize this place. It's Miss Jackson's seance parlor. Let's see if she's got any information. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. What does it do, though? An old talisman shaped over centuries. The engraving of the numbers looks to be less than a hundred years old, but the base could be from antiquity. The polished black sunstone in the middle has a glass finish and occasionally gives the impression of hiding a picture within itself. Interesting. What do we do with it, though? I think it's meant for the talisman. Oh, it's bright as hell. What's one of these? How do we switch it? I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Is there a combination we have to do? Okay, let's, let's do that. I think just all zeros, right? Who remembers the movie Skeleton Key? That actually sounds familiar, but I don't know it. Zero five five. I'm assuming we gotta find an actual number for it, but this is a pretty cool mechanic. You believe you watched it with your mom? I have no idea. The code is 420. <laughs> I had to double check and make sure Megan didn't say that, Phoenix. First number goes into the largest ring. Objectives. Okay, what's the first number, though? Is there something around here that's going to give us the, uh, the thing? We have the schematics. Here we go. Three, five, eight. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, thanks, Aerith. I was just getting there. Also, I hope you're having a good night. Thanks for stopping in again. It's showing something. A place? Where is that? Okay, we saw a blanket on a couch. Huh. Oh my god, the stutter. Right here. Literally right here. This is what it was showing. Is there something here? Is there a way to... I guess not. But let's just go ahead, I guess. Detective, I was wondering when you were going to show up. Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, Detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. 
Isn't this not his house, though? Because it's the Edward uncle's Conby, house? Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. I don't like well, this guy. I not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dosetto, detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Dosetto. Now, what can I do for you? I back him down. Somewhere I can find Jeremy Hartwood. <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? His motion capture is really good. I wouldn't want to go into details about really his condition. Good. Doctor, patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Jake's sure. always playing ready or not. He is crazy. Never had an invite. Not Why? a one. Not a single one. Here. Try this. Oh, it's good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. What's up, Neo? Okay, what can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order, and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. The mocap is you really good on orders. David Harbour. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh. Excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I, I have one complaint, though. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. The eyes. The, the eyes don't Looking look good. Looking forward to it. Safe returns. Also, no one who speaks like that is, is gonna have the cheap stuff. Hopper. No one who speaks in that accent is gonna have the cheap stuff. He, he's got the, the pomp. Hmm, yes, peasants with cheap stuff. Hmm, not I. I am better than that. Detective Carney. Be gone, peasant. How did you... Where did you go? I was just talking to Dr. Gray. You disappeared. No, it's not what you think. Have you... Have you found anything strange going on here? Yes. Everyone is being incredibly evasive and I can't figure out why. No, I mean something you can't explain paranormal even I like his Detective? acting in this so I much really man I really need you to get yourself together I can't do this alone forget it I'll figure it out I feel like with the noir you music though Dr. Gray? No, it should be in I'll black and white try something else. with this talisman I think I can follow Jeremy the place he mentioned in the book what was the name do you remember something Spanish T Tarawea yeah that's where I need to go Detective are you gonna be all right? Yeah, of course. Go talk to Dr. Gray. We'll rendezvous later. I'll check it out in a minute, Bitter. I like that we literally just translocated. This brought me back from the French Quarter in the blink of an eye. If Jeremy can travel so easily, then he could be hiding anywhere, even Tarawea. I like that we just he can do it. So can I. I just Hopper. need to figure out how the talisman works. We translocated into the middle of fucking nowhere. We come back and we fought literal goddamn monsters. And he doesn't say anything to anyone. Not a word. Paul, you're right about the plates on the boiler and the clock. They have been sabotaged, and I think I know who did it. 
They have something to do with Jeremy's episodes and how he seems to disappear at night. Right now, it's important that you keep an eye out for any of the pieces. I want to find out if I can repair the plates. Let me know if you find any of them. Lottie. Tell Lottie to take a look at the well in the kitchen garden. The well in the garden. We still got to get in there. Uh, the face textures are phenomenal, and it, it looks great. The only thing I don't like is how lifeless the eyes look, which is the same problem that most Bethesda games have. The, the eyes look just like a doll's eyes. Terrible. Even when the models are phenomenal, the eyes are always garbage. Room key number six. And staff and patient director. Dr. Elmore Lee Gray is right. DeSanto's chief doctor. We're not going to let Accounting him read all this. And all administrative work is handled by me, Paul Number Wait. six, Elizabeth Percy. Magdalena okay. Thompson. Okay, we're not going to let it read all the names. There's no reason to do that. I saw you notice in the boiler room. The you boiler should know room. There's a chance won't be coming back. I got no business being in there myself, but you can take a valve from the wine cellar if you want to try to stop the steam. Oh, wine now. cellar. Be careful. Okay. We need the wine cellar. Is this an office? Why does it look like a post office? I don't know if this is like a library. What the hell is this room? Rorschach. I'll take that. It's over here. Patient files. Can we talk with pages? Okay. Cassandra Beauregard. Suffers from writer's block and needs to finish her moving picture script before the end of June. Mr. Chardot suggests Cassandra's heavy use of barbiturates is holding her back and ruining her career. Okay. She needs to be weaned off of her drug addiction and hope that it will resolve her compulsive lying. Then look into permanently numbing her pain in her back through surgery. Finally deal with her, her soy sauce thoughts. Okay. Grace Saunders, 11 years old, insists on a strict supervision by a proper gentleman to avoid further perversion of great... We're just going to go past that. Needs nothing out of the ordinary. She simply needs parental guidance. Eventually, we can work on her feelings toward her father. Okay. Malcolm McCarthy, 54. Do, 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 do. He, <laughs> he admitted himself... To Dersetto, stating simply that he, quote, needs some damn rest. My man, if I don't feel that. Treatment plan, take some time to open up, spending time with Jack's dog or the child should be good for him. Their harmless nature will help build his sense of trust. He wants some time away. He doesn't want to take care of a kid and a dog. All right, Elisabetta Perosi. I think that's right. Age 33, question mark. This is the one we just got the, the key for. She broke into Dorsetto and was found wandering the grand parlor, confused and suffered partial amnesia. She insisted she belonged here and offered to pay for her stay. Treatment plan. I want to contact the real Perosi, but it seems the whole colony disappeared one night, 1915, during a hurricane. I'll have to wait, take it slow, figure out what this spell of impersonation could have been. Ruth Talent or Talant. Do, 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 do. Wishing his daughter was removed from New Orleans in her life for the foreseeable future. He fears that her overly free spirit is tarnishing the family's reputation. Essentially, she's a hussy. Got it. Simply staying at Dorsetto should do wonders for Ruth. If not, at least her family's reputation. She doesn't need to change, but with therapy, I might be able to share with her some sympathy towards her family. I doubt she will settle down and become as dull as the rest of them, but at least she might try to be more discreet in the future. Yeah, she's a hussy. That's all there is to it. Looks like all the patients are accounted for, except for Jeremy. This. There's no way I can get into this thing. Okay, Better leave, leave that alone. alone. Discreet, right, Phoenix? That's that's exactly what I was kind of kind of laughing at in my head. I need the Locked key. Door. Not that one. Okay, let's go to room six since we just got that key. Isn't this the same room? It is. Okay, it's locked on this side, too. Nothing to here to interact with. Just caught a scorpion? Oh, yay, yay. Alright. I'm assuming the rooms are upstairs. I am, I do have to check. We cannot hug the bear. 
Killing me didn't read diagnostic impressions. I'm so sorry, Dawn, but we'll be here all night if we read every single thing. So I wanted to read the reason they're here and what they're going to do about it. If you want me to, I will reopen it and read all of it. This looks like the thing we fought. Right? Doesn't this look like the the weird... Uh, yeah, it looks like the thing we fought. Stained. Looks like some kind of rot. This must be the clock that Jeremy wrote about the commonplace book. Uh, okay, we need a like piece the for this. It held the talisman in the seance room, but it's broken and missing some pieces. It came in without a warrant, so it got yeeted back mm. outside. I need the key. It's actually funny. Yeah, uh, sorry, detective. Didn't mean to obstruct justice or anything. That's fine. You know, I'm kind of busy with my own case of a missing person. I, I was wondering if you've seen Grace, a girl about yay high. I can't say that I have. Why are you asking? Well, I'm looking for her. I don't trust this guy. No, 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 no. Uh, she's just uh, hiding somewhere. We can't have a rascal like that running around unchecked at a time like this, you understand? Well, I haven't seen her. Well, let me know if you find her. I'll be around. I like the green bow tie uh, and the fact I'll he's just... i keep an eye out for your man. Openly Jeremy. walking around drinking. You scratch my back, detective, and I'll scratch yours. He's got that slow southern drawl of the Savannah accent, honey. Okay, we're going to room six. I'm assuming it's one of the last two. Go this. Nothing? It's empty? That sucks. Okay. The impression is that just... It's just that first impression and personality traits, yeah. Nothing there, so it's got to be this one then. Cause there's only six of them, right? Huh. So this is the lady that just showed up and offered to pay for her stay, but they think that she's like impersonating symbols? someone. Looks like alchemy or star constellations. That is constellations. That's an Aries. That's me, boy. Right, let's look around. Check this first. Perosi's journal. Do I need to remember how to get them out again? They are locked up for good reason. I am sure she is still able to whisper the answer in the ears of the wrong people. But not for long. I will see her burn soon enough. That black goat will be sacrificed to put an end to it all. Then it will all be over. No more Derseto, and sadly, no Astarte. Darsetto. Those good pirates of Pontchartrain. May you still sail the lake until you find the shores of Hali. There's so much exposition going on that I don't understand yet. I hope it expounds more upon the story. It lets us know the background. A starting artist colony. I remember hearing about their disappearance. It must have been 15 years or more now. So this is the one that got wiped out by a hurricane, right? Here we go. We got some cool art to look at. Oh, I love that. These paintings got some grim looking rot on them. I love that I don't have to pick it up and turn it over. Thank you. Let's see. There's three of these that are, that have like the rot or whatever on them. Only three of them. Argus, Mosig, and Keith. Does that have anything to do with these over here? Two. Where's Mosig? Nine. And then Keith is four. Examine the paintings. We did that. Yeah, we already did. They've got two, nine, and four on them. If that's correct. Let's check this. Must return. I clue. did it. 
I crossed the thresholds to my intended destination without a focusing device. My talisman now knows these roads, and I have no need for the plates. I can find my way to Lafayette as easy as I find my own room. I visited the grave of my father and seen the oven waiting for me. Thank you for opening these doors. I now must summon my courage and go back to that hateful mound outside the oil rig. I hope you'll be feeling better when I return. Jeremy. So who's Jeremy in relation to her? I don't know how to deal with this. Oh, wait. Why is the reflection so weird? All right, complete the shape with the rot on the paintings. Yeah. Oh. Like that. Hmm. The different bits of rot I see now. What does that do for us, though? Did that change anything? That didn't change this. And it didn't change this either. What's our investigation say? The Objectives. simple astrology cipher was a favorite among the artists who Did lived okay. in the house 20 years ago. They easily turned into numbers when needed. Mm -hmm. but also acted as signatures for the members, as there were only 12 of them. While Detective Combi was grateful to be back at Deceto, he was eager to test his hypothesis. After having suffered through that sinister world, dressed as the French Quarter, Jeremy's writing could be read much more literally. What if Jeremy used his talisman to actually visit those places he mentioned in the book? Conby felt certain that this was the answer. He wouldn't find Jeremy hiding inside Dorsetto. He would be in one of those other worlds. And to follow in his steps, Conby would have to investigate the old clock and the boiler and find out what part they played. Okay. See, our hint ran out here. Complete the shape with the rot on the paintings, but it didn't give us anything to move forward with. So I'm just a little bit confused here. Okay, here we go. Maybe? 1, 11, 10? Is that right? So would it be... If this is 1, this would be 12, 10, 11. Would the combination be Aquarius, Pisces, Aries? Am, am I reading that right? What's Aquarius? No, we can't even do Aquarius here. Hold on. I feel like this is a lot easier than I'm making it out to be. Anybody have any, any, any flip pictures? Two, three, and six? Yeah, we did. We can do it again. I mean, no, we can't actually. Yeah, we've already we've already completed the uh, the. I guess it's just the rot is what it wanted. Yeah. I just don't understand the the numbering for this right here, right? Because the only things marked here are one, eleven, and ten, and we can't do like a one, two, three because we can't choose Aquarius for the first one. Aquarius actually can't be any of them, or the first one at all. Corresponding number with William Argus number 2, 4, and 9. Okay. So if we go 2, 4, and 9, it would be Pisces, Taurus, and Libra. Damn it. Yeah. Right. Pisces. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay. Thanks, Dawn. I was... I was getting there slowly, but not quick enough. There were a lot of moving parts to that puzzle. I like that. Yeah. Cool. So now we can go put the... Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Reload. We only have six rounds. Shit. Let's just run. Oh, God. This thing. Okay. Peace. Put that. We're missing one more. We need one more piece. Everything's normal again? I need the key. We don't have this one yet. Yeah, we don't have that one yet. Was there another room? Let's check the other rooms. We can't get in this one. We know that. And then this one. Oh, okay. We can get in this one. back to normal here. Oh, this is where we were forever ago. Yeah, this is the the picture I thought was a naked dude. Emily is here. Did she did she really draw a photo Emily's of herself? Here. Or not? Very interesting. Yeah, we don't have that. I don't see anything else to interact with, so let's go ahead and move on. So we need the other piece for the clock right now. Oh, speed bag. That's cool. Those are some heavy ass gloves. Those look like 16 ounce gloves, man. Fountain pen. It says EP on it. Interesting. We've got a chest here. Nothing in it. I don't like that. That's annoying. I guess there's nothing else in here to grab. Can someone catch me up on the narrative arc? What's our objective here? It was distracted. Um, we are trying to fit pieces into the clock right now. We are currently tactically researching people's rooms and uh, learning about them. And we found one of the pieces we need inside of patient number six's room. Patient number six is the one that randomly showed up wandering the grounds and then tried to pay to stay here. And they think that she's impersonating someone. So we're trying to get all the pieces to put them into this clock right here. A snoop and we do not snoop on this channel. That is one thing we do not do here. We do not snoop. We tactically research. Okay. It, it's 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 reconnaissance. Not snooping. That's the front door. It's how I'm we not leave. Gonna walk out of this now. I need to help Emily save her uncle. Right. We know that we need to get and not that way. We've been in there. We know that we need to get back into the garden, and we need to find the thing that's in the ground over there. We need to figure out a way to get that thing to pull it up because it has Jesus Christ. What was that? Anyways, uh, yeah, we got to key. Try the keys you got from Batiste. Okay. Speaking of recon, my ISP sent me seven copyright notices for downloading the Metal Gear series. You know, I've been getting those for over 10 years. They never do anything about it. Lost Plantations, Louisiana. Lost Plantations of Louisiana. Oh, here we go. Thierry Briglow, 1917. The Assetto was a small plantation on the eastern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. The land was considered difficult for industry and was sold for only $30 to Elia Pickford. In $30 hairs? Pickford employed hundreds of workers from nearby New Orleans to clear the woods and build a small plantation mansion facing the lake with a striking Greek Revival temple facade. Tessetto kept a modest production of Paris tobacco and indigo that persisted up till the Civil War. During the antebellum era, Tessetto was the source of many rumors concerning voodoo and witchcraft. We'll check the map people in a second. People traveled the lake reported seeing people dance at night in front of bonfires bleating and wailing. On June 17, 1862, Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army recounts leading a raiding party from ships anchored in Lake Pontchartrain in order to seize control of Desetto and free the slaves working there. The captain was surprised to find the workers fighting back with unprecedented zeal. Norton's account describes these men and women as 
enraged with fanaticism. Pickford reportedly tried to placate the raiders, but was shot in the confusion. Captain Norton left the mansion burning and retreated to his ships with his men. Their settle was left in ruins for several decades. The ownership of the land was long disputed and returned to the Ledoux family in 1901. Several police reports were filed during the following years as the Ledoux tried to get rid of a camp of squatters on their land. The police made several visits to remove the trespassers, but the people kept returning. On November 1st, 1907, Inspector Legras of the police charged a deadly attack in order to save several children kidnapped by the squatters. Many were killed, and even more were jailed. The following year, Ledoux rebuilt their chateau, incorporating the surviving stone foundation and adding a magnificent wrought iron conservatory. The farmland had been reclaimed by the surrounding woods, so it was no longer profitable to use as a plantation. Instead, the house was turned into an artist's colony. The Astarte Artist Colony was a successful group of artists, including figures such as painter Heinrich Cassel and poet Nora Keith. That's where she was from, the group Patient Six. was also known for their beloved Mardi Gras crew called the Pirates of Pontchartrain. On September 29, 1915, a tropical hurricane tore through Louisiana, causing Lake Pontchartrain to flood New Orleans. Due to the remote location of their settle, it took almost two weeks for outsiders to learn that the artist's colony was abandoned. The twelve residing artists had all vanished without a trace. The empty mansion of their settle still stands on the shore of Lake Pontchartrain, with much of its temple facade intact. The Ledoux family currently has no intention of repairing the house. Hmm. Lost plantations in Louisiana. Dawn was right immediately. When we first got here, she asked if this was a plantation house. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Same. Buckaroo? Same. It's wedged shut. Can I... Can I get rid of that? Somehow? I can't, okay. What the hell was that? I heard something that sounded like bug skittering. Oh, let's check the map. Don asked about the map. Oh. Uh, let's see. I know we picked up the map. I'm just not sure where. Oh, I'm so dumb. Okay. We're currently in the small parlor. Small parlor. We can't get into the drawing room right now. Um, we are trying to go back to the conservatory right now to get outside because. Okay, puzzle. Solvable. Green means it's solvable. Unlockable means we can unlock it. Red just means locked. I don't know what bolted means. And blocked. So I'm assuming those are things we can't do right now or interact with. Kitchen, garden. None of those are solvable. None of those are solvable. There's an attic as well we've also not been into. We know for a fact that a piece that we need is outside though. So I was trying to get back outside again. <laughs> Jesus! What? I can't interact with any of this. Where do we go? Over here, right here. Bolt cutters. Chained door, there we go. Okay, all the way back. Here we go. I, <laughs> I unironically love that bolt cutting animation. What the hell is going on? Okay, so we're back outside again. In this beautiful conservatory. There's our crows. 
go back to the servant stairs and use the key and the library doors? We'll do that. Garden hose. We don't... All we have is cutters. There's something over here, though. What is this? M Mummified cat. We should have shot the cat. Kitchen garden and turn in the water near the entrance to the garage. I Yeah, I see that because it's going to fill that up and that bucket's going to rise. That's a pretty good mechanic. I like that. That's easily visually distinguishable to understand what you got to do. I'm also going to move this. Then we can go up that way. Then I'm going to open this. I like this. Got it. Water hose. Hell yeah. This goes this way. What the hell is that noise? I really, really want to do it. If I didn't have only six rounds, I would do it. But we've only got six rounds. So let's go back over here. And then, do we got to move this? Or add the hose to it? There we go. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we can put this back in the clock. Got to run for a few husbands jelly. Well, he doesn't have to be jelly. You can get him in here too, and then it can be a family thing. Broken plate. Grab that. Larger decorative. It's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we know exactly where this goes. So, let's go back to the clock on the second floor. And then we need to get to the wine cellar. We need to get to the wine cellar so that we can get the valve to turn off the steam in the basement so we can go past that thing, right? So, right up here. Also, does this game have a save function? It does, okay. We're gonna go ahead and save it really quickly. I I think we just got an autosave. Yeah, yeah. When the camera appears in the top right, it's an autosave. Is this game worth it? Um, if it's truly a four or five hour game for sixty doll hairs, then no. So we're gonna find out. I think I've is, seen this. Somewhere. Is it interesting and well crafted? Yes. How do I move it? E. Can I rotate it, or? No, I can't. How's this work? Doesn't look scary. It's not as much scary as it is interesting, because it's actually very interesting. The story is really good, and it is gorgeous. How do I? I can't rotate any of these? Are these not, like, how they already need to be? This game is more than minimum wage. It, yeah. Um, do we have the... I doubt it's that, right? Rotate X. Is that what it said? Oh, it's after I pick it up, it shows the rotate. That's my bad. Okay. So grab that, like that. Until you pick it up, it doesn't show the rotate button. I wasn't paying well enough attention, I suppose. So let's do... I think? No, it's not a corner piece. It can't go there. Like that. And then rotate that one. That one doesn't look good. This one, I think, goes here, though. And then we gotta rotate this one. There was something in the commonplace book about this. Are these two in the wrong spots? Yes, they are. The, the ticking of the clock is making me nervous, even though it has nothing to do with what we're doing. Is this not accurate? Am I missing something? Like, actually? Do these need to swap? Surely not. Maybe? It's not rotating. No. I think I had these right. He said to look, yeah. I'm gonna check it again. I just thought I could figure this out. Okay, which book is it? Broken plates. Take a look. No, we, we know that already. The well in the garden. We already did that. Uh, you write about the plates on the boiler and the clock. 
Jeremy's episodes. Not that. Let's look at... There's at least three different audio samples there in such a stressful way. Yeah. The Edge is Recluse to Placement too. I did see that. I just don't know which book it is. Commonplace book? This one? And then... All my keys are fucked up because I don't know where everything is anymore. Here we go. Yeah, so it's this. I'm pretty sure I have this right. So up to the right. Down to the right. And then these two kind of pincer into one another. Yeah, this is already right. What am I missing here? Let's look at it again. All the way to the end. God, I can't change it with A and D, and I don't know why. Yeah, so it's this one right here, right? What's, uh, what's messed up about this? Do, 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 do. The X, arrow, diamond. X is there. Arrow, diamond. This is correct. Is it not? What's wrong about this? Like, actually, am I, am I, am I stupid? Don't answer that, but is it one of these plates out of whack? It may be one of these plates. Let's see. Yeah, the corner pieces, that's what I'm thinking. All right, let's, let's check the book. It's gotta be the corner pieces. Okay. All right. Unfortunately for us, that's, that's kind of hard to see. Okay, let, let's let's change up some of the corner pieces. Let's try this one and this one maybe. Rotate. So not those. Damn it. Rotate. There it is. Okay. Cool. I think the clock broke. Or maybe it just stopped at a very precise place. That was just really hard to read more than anything. Hmm. Okay, now we need the code for this. It looks like uh, the largest number is six. Yeah, six. Is that a four on the right? Six, four, three. Let's try that. So large number first. Six, four, three. Nice. Hallway. We know exactly where that There's is. There's a picture in the black glass. It's showing me something. It's the hallway. Yeah. Outside Jeremy's room. Yep. I, there we go. I couldn't change the camera for a second. Cool. So it should be right over here. Oh no. God damn it. Jesus, okay. Huh. I made it. Okay, we need to look I for ammo. Another one of Jeremy's memories. The, the mound beyond the oil rig. That that's uh that was the note we found in patient number six's room, Perosi. So we gotta find the mound past the oil rig. Alone in the dark of the new nightmare. Which one's that one, Emma? Is that one of the older ones? I like the, the green tint all over the place. Come on, we need more ammo. Oil rig report. The first game released on PS1. The 1992 game? Is that what you're talking about? May 1923. 
Monday. All okay. Ready for delivery. Maintenance. Oil pump must be serviced. Any tampering causes large spills unless properly forestalled. Tuesday. Shipment delayed but delivered. Maintenance. Service bridge close to broken. Wednesday. Prospectors reluctantly agreed to show the burial mound to Mr. Hotwood, a painter, who read about our finds in the papers. He means to return tomorrow and try to find a way inside. Thursday. Mr. Hotwood's efforts delayed. Workers seemed nervous about his presence. Hotwood promised not to return to the compound. Instead, he has taken up an offer by L'Officier, the riverboat captain. L'Officier. He to pilot him to the site tomorrow morning. Hopefully, that's the end. Work can resume. Maintenance. Bridge from the oil tower to the bayou has collapsed. Sabotage suspected. This is the devil that guides us now. One thing I wish they did is I really, I really like the reading. I do. The voiceovers are phenomenal. I just wish that it scrolled with them while they were reading it, so I didn't have to do it manually. But that, that's a minor complaint. Nothing there. From what you recall, it had a good story, good jump scares, good puzzles, and got to shoot things. Those are all the boxes we usually tick. This game's been good so far. Like, it's been interesting and fun. It's just not been like, you know, the usual kind of scary games we play. I need the key. We hear something outside in the water, and I don't like that. Just a horn. Love that. I did look up the original, the 1992 one earlier, and laughed at how comically bad the graphics were, and the fact that the main character looks like Nigel Thornberry. Hmm. Miss something? Is it a rock? That is a rock. We're not going to worry about that. I like that we turned on the, like, helpful mode, too, and the game hasn't explained any has not explained any of the mechanics to us. Jetty Key. Nigel Thornberry. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. Come on. Yes, ammo. We got one drink and one ammo. Or two ammo. I didn't see it. We have 14 rounds and we have enough to kill at least two enemies then. As long as I don't miss. We have not found another melee weapon yet, unfortunately. Unfortunately. We have a whole ass, like, town here to explore. Okay. Let's go back through here. Can't go upstairs. Can we? But there's something up there, I think. I can't reach whatever that is. There's something missing. Bridge operator. We have the jetty key. That's not what we need here. I think it's, uh, I think this will go in that door back here. This one over here. The sound design in this game is phenomenal, though. This one? Yes. Nice. I have so many positives to talk about in this game. I've got to say that it, they did a really good job with it. Pipe, nice melee weapon. What is this? Bridge lever. Nice. Got it. And more drink. Let's go ahead and heal, and then grab this one because we can only carry five. PS2 guy, what's up, buddy? It's been a minute since I've seen you. Hope you're having a good night, my dude. Or a good day for you, I'm not sure. I love just shouldering through the doors. Paul, what's up? How are you? It's a night, okay, well, I hope you're having a good night. No, 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 no,
No, no, no, no, no, no. Run, run, run. I don't know what that thing is, and I don't want to know. All MPS2 guys showing up right at the same time. Oh, God. Love it. Good to see you guys tonight. We're currently, like, almost two hours into the new Alone in the Dark game. Came out yesterday. It's been a lot of fun. Let's go see what was on these stairs over here. New pipe. It just keeps saying we're adding pipe. That's an interesting feature or or bug. I'm not sure what's in the ground. That seems like a new enemy we've not fought yet. And I'm trying to avoid it to the best of my ability. Oh, there was something over there. No! That is an appropriate response to falling on your back. No. We finished RE4 last night, my dude. Kayla, I'm just glad you're here. Creeping or not. It's always great to have you. Shovel. Just all the different weapons. Love that. Oh, that's cool, too. It replaced it. It. I like that. That's a good system. I hate that they unfortunately decided to go with the Silent Hill method of giving you a melee weapon that is brittle as used tissue paper that breaks in like one to two wax. Nothing else in here, just melee weapon, okay. After all the hours I've put in RE4, I'm trying to relearn controls of different games now and it's rough. What is that thing? No, I I don't know. I don't know what we just picked up. Three shots. That's good. Let's grab this. Is, is that a molly? No, that was a bottle with a rag in it. You know it's supposed to be a molly, man. Come on, son. We hear another one. Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. I don't know how to... Why can't I get through this? It's pretty weak. I just need something to break it. Okay, well that was not self-explanatory, but that was fun. The game is beautiful so far, though. Like, it looks so good. Okay, something inside. Yes, it got a remake. This version came out yesterday. Can I avoid fighting that guy? Or do I have to fight him? I have to fight him. Great. Come on. Gorgeous. Gorgeous decapitation. Looks like Lake Charles. Kind of does. Nothing else I can interact with. Camping my stream. I appreciate that, my dude. We got ammo, ammo, no ammo, just 
giant pipes we can't use. I thought that was one of those mud puppies, but apparently not. Okay. We gotta watch the ground, because those things can just sneak up on us. And we're already about half health right now. Yep, just like that. Squeeze. Suck it in. Nice. Okay, okay. No! Oh, God, okay. Oh, buddy. I, I love the melee. I can't lie, dude. Gazing statue. Okay. Looks more like the backwoods by you. I've only been to certain parts of Louisiana, so I can't comment on too much. Could someone ask Tara why she had to turn her sound off? safe in here. I picked up something and it didn't tell us what it was. That's fine. There's, we're reloaded. We have 15 rounds. Six in mag. Rob asked why sound off. <laughs> um, I think she's saying she muted her stream, Nicole. I was asking why. Nothing in here. Let's look around. Ah. Understood. Nope. 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 We run. That thing is chasing us. There's there's three enemies. Okay, I see. Let's hat trick them, get them to follow us, and then run past them. Because we only have enough bullets to kill two enemies. There's that one, and then that one, right? So we just run around. No ammo? No ammo. Remember kids, there is, there is no shame in running from a fight. You gotta know when to hold them. When to hold them. We got a pipe, we got a pipe. No, 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 no! Holy shit, it spit on us! Go, go! Okay, we got that. Is it good? I hate that. If this pump would stop moving, maybe I could get across. Shut down the oil pump. Okay. Let's go. Hmm. We're going to have to kill this thing. Two shots. Nice. It looks like a leech with legs. Oh. Now that's cool. Kind of stupid, but pretty cool. Looks good though. Huh. All right. Now what? Can we zip line? We can. Okay. 
tough cloth because otherwise this would absolutely destroy your fucking hands. If you guys have never tried to like zip line something with your hands, it, the, the movies make it look unrealistically easy. Can you rather fall to your death than go up in flames? Tough cloth, here we go. A metal cable at that. He one hands it to hold on to his hat. I love it. I love it. The motion capture is so good, dude. Pistol bullet in one. I'll take that. God, this makes me want to play the Cthulhu games. The, uh, the sink Sunken City or Sinking City or whatever, where you play as a detective in Innsmouth. That's all this is doing to me is reigniting Cthulhu love. There is something large over there. Please tell me there are not mutated alligators or crocodiles. a no from me. I'd rather deal with the little mud puppies than that monstrosity. Is this an offering? Is that what this is? This is the first game in a long time that I don't want to just sprint everywhere in because I want to look at everything. And I hope you guys are appreciating it as much as I. Jake was there. It's the hateful mound Jeremy talked about in his book. Oh my god, the stutter though. That was. Ooh, chunky. What do we got going on in here? Don't come any closer. I'm armed. Get that thing out of my face. Who are so she you? said, What are you doing here? I'm just a detective trying to find something called Tarawea. You're after Jeremy, too? Why? I'm working for his niece. She wants to make sure he's all right. He might be unharmed, but far from all right. He's a curse upon DeSetto. DeSetto. Uh, here we go again. Quiet. Is it blind? She's just kind of stuck there with oh, that Christ thing, dude. I like the the monster design too. It, it's it's pretty unique. It looks good. Sissy pistol won't work against that, right? All right, what do we got here? Palette knife. Intended for painting, but it's thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. Okay. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts by Juan Luis Jorge. Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse, turn to suicide. 
However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other, or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. Okay. Sitting room key, new key, nice. Can I open this with the, the, the pastel knife? No, how the hell do I get in there? I really want the shotgun. What about, can we move the wedge with the knife? Wedge shot. We can. It worked. This is the, the draw, drawing room, writing room? I don't think I have everything I need. Okay, we don't have the telescope thing. Barlow lens instructions. The Barlow lens instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Okay. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Magnificent magnification. I love that. I'm sorry, board bitter. Work on your game a bit. The quicker you get it done, the quicker we get to play it. Dog collar. I didn't read the name on it. I think this is Daisy. The lone. Oh. Read the lone and the lost walk a land of fear. When there is nothing you recognize or no one to trust, you prepare for the worst. Something is coming, and you best be ready. Take the gun in the parlor. Give them hell. Is that referring to the shotgun? What's this? Uh, you can get one of the mods to do so. Mod Theo, Megan, or Taro can do that. Let's see. Put the map. I map. That's the puzzle. We didn't get a lens yet, did we? We didn't obtain it was the. A bust. Oh. The oil rig and the hateful mound led him nowhere closer to finding Jeremy. Conde was sure he had struck gold when he found Jeremy's bag, but it was just a trap set by Lottie, another of Desetto's orderlies. Desetto. Things got out of hand real quick. But somehow, Conde managed to find his way back to Desetto. I love the way they say that. At least it was one item off his list. Now, he had to figure out what to do with the boiler. We know exactly what to do with the boiler. We have to get into the basement, into the wine cellar, to find the valve that we need to turn off the boiler so that it stops spewing steam so we can get past it. We know exactly what to do with it. For this, we don't have the tool that we need yet. But I did just notice we do have the cellar key. So let's figure out the easiest, quickest way to get to the cellar, and then we're going to go there next. We have a stairwell. Does it only go up or down? How do we change it? Plus and minus. Okay, here we go. So, conservatory has the small parlor down there. Oh, the two levels of the conservatory, yeah. So, honestly, let's just make our way to the conservatory, and then we can do the small parlor, which is directly below us, it looks like. Or no, we're in the parlor. We just can't open the damn thing. Oh, it's open now. I'm so... Now we're talking. So stupid. Shotgun. Nice. All right, so now let's go through the parlor. And... Let's see. This way, I think. Can't go that way. Never mind. Scratch that. Let's go outside to the right. We need to find the cellar. I love this little outdoor area, though, man. 
How many square feet do you think this house is? I really want to shoot that thing, but I'm not going to do it yet. Okay, nothing there. This should be... Oh, we can't go back through. Is this not the basement we came through at the start of the game? Yeah, because we came out right here. And I threatened to shoot the cat, and everyone said they would unsub and report me to YouTube. Well, that sucks. Looks like a... Ch Nicole, I swear to God. That is a... That is a bannable offense. Hey, Slum, what's up, buddy? How are you? How are you doing today? I need the key. Sitting room, cellar. Can't use any of those. Let's check their map here. We are currently here. We need to get to the cellar. Servant stairs or the plaza. That may be the way to go, right? Isn't that just where we came from, though? Nope. Map. Yeah, it just takes us here. Well, let's see if we can go through there. Ramadan is killing you. I'm so sorry, my dude. <laughs> you'll make it. You'll you'll get through there. Here we go. Stairs. One of my friends is also not enjoying Ramadan right now. So I, I, I understand where you're coming from. But you got this. Boiler room is right next to us. Uh, but we need the cellar. Can we go here? Nice. This is the kitchen, right? This is one of the first rooms we went through at the start of the game. Yeah. We hear kitty cat. That's our little black cat that was hiding in the barrel, I'm assuming. What are you doing in my kitchen? Jesus Christ. I assure you. No, I'm sorry. I promise I didn't, you. I, Mr. Hartwood is nowhere near my for, kitchen, and neither should you be. Don't make I, me I kick you out to, of this house. Sorry. Now get out. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. That old bitty is insane. Let's check our note. Combi was in shock, but also a little embarrassed. The housekeeper was furious to find him searching through the kitchen and had run him out of the room. There was something strange going on with her, but it didn't feel connected to the case, so he decided to stay out of her way. Yeah, we don't we don't like her. We we're going to leave her alone, dude. Let's see. We get it a lower than I. Uh, I don't know what your request was on Discord. I can't look at it while I'm playing right now, bitter. But somebody did make the channel. I'm pretty pretty sure. the The fasting is insane, man. It, it is insane. But you got this. You can do it. Let's see, seller key. Let's see. Yeah, there's a game dev channel right now in, in the community posts. Like, I, I can see the channel's list on my screen. Circuit box. Okay. Is this the equivalent of a fuse that we need? Because I will... I already carry myself right now. Oh, thank God. It's right here. You know, I don't know if it was Dawn or Phoenix who said it, that they would put fuses in a game and make it a gag and put the put the fuse like right under the box. This is essentially what just happened. It worked. I don't like this. Oh, that was you. That was Taro. Okay. I knew one of you said it, but I couldn't remember who. Valve handle. 
Use for adjusting the flow of water and steam. That'll get us past the boiler in the boiler room. Okay, nothing discoverable back here. We're doing good on ammo. We got 20 rounds. We still have a pipe to use. Let's cut the power back on, please. Oh my god, why? I hear something and I don't like it. Just let me out of here. What is this? New a shovel. Okay, there's Yeah, combat's about to happen. I missed. Embarrassing. I missed. Oh, we got him. We got him. We got him. We got him. Okay. I can't believe I just missed half of those rounds. I've been doing so good on accuracy. That was embarrassing. I I hope no one saw that. I hope Nicole was shopping on, on Timu instead. Does this not go right here? No, it goes right here. Broken valve. Handle. Everyone used to go out of Mendes Smoke at the park in a different corner. Every night of Ramadan, there's like a big group of youth. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see. Jeremy? Those are eyeballs. Oh god, those are eyeballs. Where's the body? Oh, my eyes. Oh, I hate that. Oh god, I hate the eyes, guys. Oh, my eyes been bother bothering me all day and now it's watering. Oh god. Why did they have to do that? I hate the eyeballs, man. See. Okay, nothing else to grab in here. Let's get out. Ooh. Pieces of plate. Hello, Mr. Waits. Mr. I saw Waits? a piece of the plate that Liza broke. I think she's been hiding them. She's not very good at it. She just chucked it into the little room with all the tools behind the boiler. I left it there. I didn't want to embarrass her by picking it up while she was looking. We went upstairs instead and played backgammon. I let her win. Because she's <laughs> so unhappy. The piece looked like the one on display in Cassandra's room. You know about that one already, right? Or is your eyesight really that fuzzy? I hope you don't feel bad about your glasses. You only look stupid when you squint. Jesus, Maybe if kids. you had more eyes, oh, you would God. see these things. I wish you had all the eyes you needed. Your best and favorite guest, Grace. What a weirdo thing to say. Oh my god. Sexual is one of the demo areas and the reason I suggested the game. Okay. I'm enjoying it. I just hate the eyes. And my right eye has been, been bothering me all day and now it wants to just water continuously after that. Unfortunate. Ease with it ease. Also, speaking of glasses, I got new glasses today, so that's pretty cool. Well, I got new frames. My frames have been broken for like two years. Nothing new in here. Just double checking. Nope, nothing new. Oh, god dang it. Ooh. Nurse's watch. Hell yeah. Uh, I have them now. They're sitting right next to me. I don't really use them that often. Medicine box. We don't have the key for this yet. Um, That's the library. Baptiste key. Oh, we don't need it. Never mind. Have we been in here yet? Yeah, yeah, we've been here once. We've been in here once. Because we, we picked up something right there and it read for a long time. Need to see me model my glasses? Oof, that sucks. Sorry. I'm kidding. 
I'll wear them occasionally. I feel like they make my head look way too small. Huh? What? Wait, we're locked in here now? We're gonna, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna go. Oh my god, what the f Bro. No, no, no. Quit. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, that sucked. I forgot I had a shotgun. I'm so happy I switched to it. Trusty Rusty the double barrel. We're suddenly in like a ripped. I love this. Yeah, I, I love the relationship with his hat. Still better love story than Twilight. Alright, let's see if we can leave now. Upstairs. I actually don't think we've been upstairs yet, have we, guys? This is our first time heading up the stairs. What room is this? Private, no entry. You and Dirty have a better love story. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna become a unit one day, a beautiful family unit. It's wedge shot. And then you can adopt me. It worked. You won't be the first ones to find love in my com my comment section. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Oh, this is uh, the patient rooms. Okay, patient hallway. We'll leave that alone. This is a gorgeous hallway. Every aspect of this hallway is beautiful. The art is done great. The lighting is phenomenal. This is terrible, but this is a beautiful hallway. Shotgun shells. It is really pushing use of the shotgun. We'll take that. Oh, we haven't seen her since we first got here. Detective Conby, how good of you to come. Let me pour you a drink. Well, I do declare. Wait, this is the one that's the hussy, right? What happened here? This place looks like it was hit by a bomb. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. This is the one that couldn't keep her legs closed? Did the ceiling right? just collapse? I heard it was something in the attic. Something that was supposed to happen, but didn't. How that could have such consequences is beyond me. The truth is, I don't know why the room looks like this, but I bet your friend Jeremy does. You know where I could find him? Oh, somewhere in his past, I suppose. He keeps going on about that mysterious dark man. I think he is hiding from him, or maybe he's with him. I can't really keep up. I don't worry much. Take a look around this room. You may think it looks spectacularly devastated, but I just think it's finally found its stride. <laughs> it fits perfectly with the state of this place and its loonies. The same goes for the nonsense with Jeremy. In my eyes, we finally managed to match the wild ride inside all of us. Murder soul suspect? I don't well, know that one. Happy you find the evening so harmonious. I uh, hope you don't mind me setting things right. Jeremy's business, that is. This room looks beyond my capabilities. Good luck, detective. Oh, God. Hope to see you again soon. Good yeah. way, you hussy. Evening, miss. We got more important things to do.
All right, cool. Literally, the ceiling just fucking collapsed. Did the piano fall? No, it landed on the piano. Never mind. Nothing there. The game still looks gorgeous. Every aspect of this game has been beautiful. But I have to say... Ooh, beignet. I have to say... I am more interested in the background world and lore upon which the story is built than I am the story itself. Does that make any sense? Like, I don't really care about this guy that we're trying to find, but everything else has been so damn interesting. No, 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 no. Oh, dang it. Detective that dies and becomes a ghost to have to finish his unfinished. Oh, I have heard of that. Yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. The world building, yeah, the world that they have built the game upon is more interesting than the task at hand, is what I'm trying to say. The world building is better than the game. This is one of those times where, like, the sum of the parts is better, or the individual part is better than the sum of the whole. Let's go up first. Let's see. And it's supposed to be backwards, right? Like the... Hold on a minute. The hell was that noise? What was that noise? It was like someone whimpering. I'd really like to shoot this down, if that's a thing, but I don't want to waste the bullet. Isn't it supposed to be that, like the, the creation is greater than the sum of its individual parts? This game is the opposite of that. Locked door. We don't have that key, okay. Let's go through this one. Over here. Nothing. Oh, no. We got ammo. One bullet. Because, of course. S Syringe. Okay. A Great Depression. Did it say beignets, rat poison, mm. and... Hold on. A Great Depression. <laughs> beignet, rat poison, and syringe. Is someone putting the rat poison in the beignet with the syringe? Is that what's going on here? Is that is that the story this is telling? Just out of curiosity? Or are they just not connected in that way? Medicine box key. We know exactly where this goes. We know exactly where that goes. That's the story you see? Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not putting it together in the wrong way. That's at least how I view it. Let's check over here first. That's locked, okay. So the original story for ATD was inspired by Lovecraft. I can see how it was inspired in this one, too. No. Oh, there's more of that aggressive rot. Of the common, the common okay, place here we go. of evil. There lies virtue and stark irreverence. Careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin. It is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, follow not this corrupting light, prophets of confidence, always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. She said the thing. Where's uh, Where's Engelman at? He, he's the resident poet. I'd like for him to rate this. And according to Wiki, inspired the RE series. Yes. That is, um, that's one of the top comments on Steam for this game, is it's funny that the game that inspired Resident Evil is getting remade 
using gameplay elements from Resident Evil. Talking about the third person shooting and everything. It's literally one of the top comments on the Steam page. Medicine box is right here. I think... No, not here. It's... Right here. I was one room over. Might be. Uh, medicine box key. Dr. Jenkins lozenges. One of several medicines prescribed to our author Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains tablets and relieved sore throats. It contains two vital vitamins. I wish I could read the. I wish I could read it because it's probably got like cocaine and stuff in it. <laughs> vital vitamin, amphetamine. All right, what's our objective, real quick? Current objective. Fine. Dracito's boiler mentioned in the comp. We've done that, right? Didn't didn't we do the whole boiler room already? Like just a couple minutes ago. We'll we'll go back to it real quick, I guess. Did our objective not update? Hey, no. Oh, oh, it was over here. Yeah, this is the boiler room. Yeah, we've already done it. Another plate for the talisman. Oh yeah, like yeah, the yeah. Broken we were grabbing the plates. That's my bad. Let's see. We're missing one more piece. All right, what's our objective now? Does it say? Repair the decorative plate in the boiler. Okay, let's check our map. Boiling room. Yeah, that's the puzzle right there. I wish we could zoom in. We cannot. So we're currently in the boiler room right here. The puzzle piece on the map right here is showing us that this is the puzzle we're trying to complete. It is white, so it's not solvable. We don't have the piece we need for it yet. So let's look around. We know that we don't have this one either, because this is a lens. Mezzanine. This is a door that is unlockable. The gallery takes us to the sitting room. We're probably going to go here next. We just found the medicine that's for Cassandra as well. So maybe we'll take her her medicine and go from there. Or what's the easiest way to get there? Boiler room. Do, 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 do. Is it on the third floor? It is. So we'll take the servant stairs all the way up. Okay. Cool. Hopefully that's where we go. If I'm reading it correctly and putting the pieces together correctly, that should be what we do next. So let's just take the stairs all the way up. I love Daddy Hopper, but he is so fat and slow. You guys can't tell, but I keep trying to sprint and he keeps just running out of energy. Okay, so... Check our map from here. Yes, so straight through and then to the left. Awesome. Look at me. I know how to read a map. Aren't you proud of me? Go through this one. We're right here. In the sitting room, is it literally just right here? No way, we've ran past this door so many times and I had no clue this is where the key went to. There's something missing. Okay, we're missing that. We need to find a piece of a globe. Is this... This must be that kid's room. Yeah. Why does she seem so familiar? A small request. Don't you worry, Grace. Don't, Don't play you worry. your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. We've heard this bleat and bellow phrase more than once now. Being part of a ritual. God, that thing is terrifying. Like, actually terrifying. I hate it so much, dude. I, I hate that thing. I'm... I'm getting dark occult flashbacks right now, and they're not good. They're gonna yell daddy and jump on me. Ha! <laughs> 
No way. I love that. I gotta say, man, it takes a lot to put actual reflections into a game like they have with this. The mirror is like a full... It actually works. You don't see that in games. Oh, did I miss something? Oh, I can interact with it again. Jack in the box. It's a it's a lignap. When it makes you worse. Cool. We've completed two of 15 sets. I'm not really trying to go for a completionist run. But anything we can grab on our way, we will do. That was your favorite. Are you talking about in Dark Occult, the, the dolls? Because I hated that. And you know that. Of course, that was your favorite part. You, you did make a clip. I remember that. What you got there? You drawing something? Nothing special. I'm just bored. Do I know you from somewhere? I remember you, Mr. Conby. From where? Don't touch that. Cassandra wouldn't like it. She wouldn't like it at all. Do you know where she is? I'd rather not talk about it. It makes me upset. I'd rather not talk Besides, about it. She'll be back after the Feast of St. John. You think? Yep. It's all on the page, Mr. Conby. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake. Some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. I don't like her. She's evil. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna go now, if that's okay. I don't like to stay too long in the same place. Mr. McCoffee might find me. Hey. <laughs> Was he mean to you? Not everyone needs to be saved, Mr. Conby. Dude, this you kid is evil. This kid is evil as hell. There's something wrong with her. She she has a an entity inside of her. Ain't ain't no eleven year old talking like that. She's got esoteric knowledge of the beyond. It was expensive, but not so much worth the thirty forty series. Sandra Beauregard okay. ended up. For some reason, I thought she died years ago. Of it's course, it's one of those strange padlocks. It's not gonna let us use the the bolt cutters we have in our inventory to get rid of that. Margrave Liniment. Liniment? Is that correct? One of several medicines prescribed to the author, Cassandra Beauregard. This particular bottle contains an ointment for pain relief sold as the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. It's got ketamine in it. There's more of that rot again. Like okay. It's guiding me to do something. Little girl with what? esoteric knowledge should be used more in video in games. I mean, not wrong. Uh, rotate. Like that. Like that. Ooh. Well, this is a different puzzle. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Didn't mean to do that. Like that. That. And then... I've got this all fucked up, don't I? Let's do that one there. I'm not gonna lie. This one doesn't really make much sense to me. In my goblin brain. It, in my smooth brain, I don't like this. This has got to be the end, okay? Which means this one goes here. J got it. The rot made the shape of a snake. There must be something important to find here. Maybe it's something to do with the numbers on the labels. Two five seven, right? Is that right? Let's try that. Two five seven, which means we have to read the damn astrology book again. Two five seven, so. Pisces, Gemini, and then seven is, is that Leo again? Okay. This one, go ahead and do the Leo, right? Nice. That wasn't bad. I like that. The first demo released, you got to play. Wait, so when the first demo for this game, you got to play as the little girl instead? That's pretty cool. 
Why is Aquarius? It bothers me too, actually. I'm glad someone brought it up. Nothing else in here I can interact with, it looks like. Okay, let's go. Let's try this room now. This. God, those bugs get me every time. Oh, that's disgusting. Jesus, okay. Um, anything in here we can interact with? No. Time for a bath? No, thank you. This is literally a, a don't throw the baby out with the bath water moment where the whole family uses the same, the same water. Baby gets to go last. Dad and mom have already bathed. And it's time for the, the chitlins to get in there. Look, by the looks of it, too, it looks like Dad shaved and just left the hair. Um, I love seeing where the toilet tank is 10 feet in the fucking air. The first time I saw that in a game was in Dark Occult, and I have seen it so much since then. All right, let's check our map real quick. Okay, we've explored everything over here. The only thing we've not been in yet is Dr. Gray's apartment, but that is still locked to us. So we need to go back down to the boiler. The stairs are right nearby. So that's an auto save. We're out of breath because we're fat and we smoke cigarettes and drink martinis all the time. Straight through here. And then we should be right at the stairs to take us down to go to the boiler room. Booyaka shot, look at that. I'm stuck. <laughs> Dude, he is actually running out of breath going through this place. And it is slowing me down to a complete stop. Imagine you're chilling on the throne for a number two and boom, porcelain tank on your head. I've been thinking about that Looney Tunes style every time I see it, man. Alright, broken plate. Okay, let's figure this one out. We can move all of these, which is new for us. No, we can't move. We can't move the corners this time. We can move everything but the corners. Okay. Do we just need to do some rotations? That's clearly going to go like that. I think it looks like it belongs right here, if not on the on the right. Let's see. Do I have a, a picture for this one? Do we have one for this? Let's check the journal. No, not this journal. Broken plates. This one doesn't have anything we need. Looney, you like the Looney Tunes style? It's not going to be in the patient files. I don't think we have one for this one, guys. Let's see. No pages here. Not that one. We got a bunch of things about plates, but not what we need. Nothing in Lottie's diary. All right, this commonplace book. Let's go to the last page, maybe? This one. Okay. Oh, I was right. The church is on the bottom left. The sun is on the top right. The fire is going to the top left. And, okay, cool. Well, I had it halfway right already. Alright, so let's rotate like that. I don't think that's correct, but we'll figure it out. This is upside down. It goes like that. Yes, I think it's like that. Um, Let's see. This one goes here? No. Night, Nicole. Thanks for hanging out for so long. Not like that. That one. Hope you have a wonderful night. We'll see you tomorrow. And then... Let's see. This one's not impossible. It's just a little hard to see them. I don't like these patterns, the way they look. I think the clouds were on the right. So, be here. And then, 
Let's see. I think this goes down at the bottom too, maybe? No, not that side, be this side. Right? Yes. Oh. This. No. Grab this one. Like that. And then... This one? That is incorrect. I have... Plowed field. Yeah, we, we got the plowed fields on the bottom. I've messed one of these up, but I'm not 100% sure which one. Because that's correct, that's correct, that's correct, that's correct, that's correct. I think it's this one? No? No. I'm just not seeing it. Top right looks right. This one. Yes. Yeah, okay, there we go. Still not right. We're missing one more. The top left, the left side, the mid left, those are all right. Are these two wrong? No, clearly not. The, the whole bottom half looks right, right? Like, all of these look good. The fields are, all, are done. This doesn't look right. And I don't know why. Top left looks wrong. Well, no, because the the fire or whatever, the burst is supposed to be going up to the top left. The top right doesn't look good. The sun is rotated wrong. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That looks better. But this left side right here doesn't look right. Star doesn't look right, brother. Look at the lights. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, the top left is wrong. Swap with top right. These two? I don't think I can. Or are you talking about these? Because it makes more sense now that we've rotated it. Nope. Left top is wrong. Left top and top right. I can't. I can't swap these. Like I, I. I can't do that. See, I can't turn them around that way. So these two can't be changed. No, I'm. I'm reading you wrong. Left top. So this one. This one right here, right? This is the one you're talking about. Yeah. I can't. I can't do that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. And this one on the right, swap it with the top. I can't. It doesn't rotate like that. I can do this one. Oop. Right? I swear to God. Okay. Wrong piece. Got it. I see what we're talking about. Like that. Okay. I read you wrong. I read you wrong. My B. But a smoke. <laughs> Let's see. Do we have anything in here? Okay, number wise. Uh, 975. It's hard to say top left and top right when there's two tops. That's what was confusing the shit out of me. There we go. Black glass is showing another room. This is the Let's wine cellar. Another one of Jeremy's memories. The wine cellar was back down in the sub basement, right? The, the cellar. 
the door opened on its own. That's never good. I was about to have a stroke trying to do that. Oh my god. Alright, where's the cellar at again? We gotta take the stairs. Uh, I can't see. Nope. There's no stairs there. That's outside. It's this way. Right? We actually can't go anywhere. We are railroaded to go outside. Okay, understood. We're gonna have to fight some stuff. I knew it. I knew it would work. I'm getting good at this, Carnby. We too good at this. are in a graveyard now. One pistol bullet. Okay, we're gonna run the shotgun. As long as we can. We've got five rounds with it. I think it's a one-shot kill to the head. As long as I don't miss. I don't like graveyards, so I'm not going to take my time in this area. We will check every nook and cranny, though. The Hartwood's family crypt. Emily's family must have deeper roots in New Orleans than I thought. I figured she was a Yankee like me. Back to second demo section again. More puzzles, but they'll be easier. That puzzle wasn't hard. I just couldn't see the the correct pattern. I I hate the the monotone colors like that. I don't know what it is with my brain, but I I can't do that. Like if you give me like a a comic book or like a manga or whatever, and it's black and white, I'm I'm sorry, I'm not reading it. It it muddles up in my brain too much. I, I get dyslexic. Here we go. Supplies. Four shotgun shells. Jesus Christ. Imagine if you live before... Oh, no, 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 no. Before color TV. Glad that I didn't. Okay, I didn't want to waste all of our bullets on him, so I wanted to beat him to death. The blessing. Key item. Rustic plate adorned with lost allegory. What's this? Okay. Now what does do we it, got here? Does it literally just go straight here? And then we rotate it? Got it. Taro, you were not kidding. The the puzzles lying ahead of us are really easy. Sledgehammer. God, that scared me a little bit. This guy again. Really? Oh, he's dead. Okay. I was going to say there is no way he just ate that entire melee weapon, dude. Pick our axe back up if we can. Pickaxe? Nope, it won't let me. There we go. A little finicky, but we got it. That handshape is referred to as the people pleaser. Let's see. I I do like the all the little candles on the path. That's kind of cool. Ammo. Pistol is reloaded. Let's reload the shoddy. Trusty rusty. The double barrel. We came in that way, so we gotta go that way. Looks like we need to find three different Turn pieces to the puzzle. This chapel in his book, so it must be important. Looks like I'll need more medallions to open it, though. Yeah, let's go ahead and look for more medallions over here. We're probably gonna go this way and come back over there. If I was a betting man. Resources? Pistol bullets? Hell yeah. Drink? More glug? I don't know if this game gets harder or not, but we have been playing. We have been playing on hard this whole time, and we have not been like out of resources once. No way. Nope. 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 Reload. 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 He's gonna spit on us. Oh, God! 
He went full head crab. Why was he so tanky? How many rounds did he eat? Holy shit, dude. That's the first enemy to give us cause for concern yet. Please don't be any more mud puppies here. Okay, we hear that guy. We still got three shotgun shells and seven pistol rounds. So we're not doing terrible. God dang, dude. He was hard as hell to kill. Didn't we kill one of those in like three shots earlier? I think they were all headshots, though. That may be the difference. I gotta place my shots better. Of course. Says I gotta place my shots better and immediately misses two rounds. Okay, let's check. Oop. What is the deal with all these fucking rocks everywhere, dude? See you better. Have a good night, buddy. Sound is completely different with headphones on. Yes. Seven pistol rounds. I do always suggest wearing headphones. Okay. Nice. That was perfect for us. Yeah, you don't you don't understand how much you uh how much you miss out on without headphones on. You miss out on all the little crunchies and like moist sounds. Wonder if the accuracy is what guns were like for if yeah, I wonder if the accuracy is what guns were like for back then. That's a good question. I don't think it was that bad. I mean, this is only like a hundred years ago, right? World War One. Just after World War One. Pistol bullets. Jake's here. Jake, how how long have you been here? How how long have you been hanging out? It just gave us a bunch of pistol rounds, and now we have a, uh, a circle-shaped area. We know, we know what that means. Well, Jake, I have the, I have the perfect dad joke for you. I, I was gonna tell it to you, but you left before I could yesterday. So let me know when you want to hear it. I think you'll like it. Grab this. I hear this thing, but I do not see it. So we're just gonna slowly mosey on through. No one sent me kisses after you left. Okay. Womp womp. More shoddy shells. I'll take that. More kisses from me? Yeah. Got that. Nothing there. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it in there. We're gonna leave it in there. I'm gonna grab this. The omen. Okay. And we need one more. I don't know what all we're going to find in this mausoleum. I don't think we're going to find more than one in the same area. I don't understand why there are so many bottles and shit like this all over this game, but it's actually annoying the amount of them they put in here. Nothing there. 
Like exactly how is that bottle going to help me? More bullets? Hell yeah. Okay, that's a big beauty boy. Reload, reload. Oh God! No, no, no! Run, run, run! Run, run, run! Easy peasy! Lemons are thoroughly squeezy, man. Came out of here, right? The gaming Molotov cocktails with the bottle. That's what I thought too, Aerith. Because they're literally bottles with, with uh, uh, something flammable sticking out of the top cloth, whatever you want to call it. But you can't interact with it, right? And I hit Q, and it just throws it in whatever direction I'm looking, and it doesn't set anything on fire. So I'm, I'm not sure how you're supposed to use it. And we've been finding them since the start of the game. My only assumption is that they expect us to use more stealth. And that's it's really all I can think of. But stealth in this game isn't really viable in the areas we keep finding the damn bottles in. We don't even have any enemies. Look, we just had like four bottles in that one hallway with the one enemy that's trapped in a cell. I don't get it. I'm waiting on mud puppies. I'm assuming they're going to be down here. Oh, here we go. A two-piece gate, and we have two pieces. Mm. Oh, I'm assuming the hand's going to go on the bottom. Or it's going to make me... Here we go. I'm assuming the hand's going to go like this, and it's going to point up, like earlier. Doing naughty things to the bird. But I guess not. I see the... Can we do... That goes that way. This one, I see it. The edges. Like that? Flip them completely around, maybe? Okay, I was kind of right. I just had to rotate the bird. We have... What's our ammo? 18 pistol, 2 shotgun. Let's reload. We found the bone zone. We're now in the, the Paris crypt. Nothing to interact with. Let's just run through. Ooh. Side cave. More shoddy. Nice. Nice. One pistol bullet. Shit! Go, go. Okay. Come on. Factual, Phoenix. Okay, nothing in here to grab. There's really nothing to grab or interact with down here, dude. This place is kind of a letdown. The sacrifice, that's uh, supposed to be the black lamb or whatever. Rustic, yeah. Okay, yeah okay. What do we got here? Back to the chapel door. Engelman, what's up, buddy? I was asking for you earlier. We've read a couple poems in here. I was asking where you were at so you could grade them. And we come back through here, just like I thought so. But, I th I'm going to check over here real quick. Make sure we didn't miss anything. When? Like, mm -mm, 30, 45 minutes ago, maybe? <laughs> Shit. 
out. Mm -hmm. You just went in bed mode? Is it night night time? Nothing to interact with. This doesn't look good. Who the hell is this? Is is this the chick we saw in the uh the upside down earlier? That she was getting attacked by that weird bull enemy? Alright, let's let's go do the door thing and then we'll come back to her. We're probably gonna have to go this way anyways. I just wanted to make sure we weren't missing out on anything uh hidden. Yeah, she did. I say you she did. Okay. Let's see. Omen. Sacrifice. So. Yeah, new alone in the dark, buddy. How you doing, Limit? Some soft, warm voice. I want to feel how your voice hugs me while I slowly sink in your words. I'm not sure what the problem is here. Oh, we have a, no, we have a drawing. Hold up. Back out. That can't be right. We have a drawing for this one. Is it in this one again? Near the end? This new keyboard is really fucking me up, man. I keep like having to actually look at the keyboard to figure out where the keys are. <laughs> Engelman, I do declare. Let's see. This one is clearly not it. That one doesn't have it. Here we go. Okay, the hand straight up. They're all straight up. So hand straight up, top, bird right, lamb left. Let's try that. This one, this one, this one. No, all those are the same, but like where like the enter button is on your keyboard and then to the right are all different. So I, I keep having to like, I can't even find my directional keys because they're in a different spot. And it's a much smaller keyboard, so like, everything's just slightly moved. This should be right. We just looked at this, right? Is, is one of these slightly off? Should I swap these? Oh, okay, there we go, it's slightly off. Yeah, I'm not seeing things clearly tonight, man. I think my my eyes are killing me. Who's that? Who's that? Got you. Jeremy. What are you doing here? Everyone's looking for you. I know. It, it's all a big mess. No one understands. I, I'm just trying to keep evil at bay. Just for a little while longer. You've got to come back with me. Your niece is waiting at Dorsetto. Emily? Why would you? My letter. My letter. Keep making it worse. What is going on, Jeremy? How is any of this happening? I made, I made a terrible promise with some. The dark man. Who is he? No, 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 no! Don't say his name. He can hear us. He's always listening. It's been Papa Legba the whole time. Jeremy. New Indiana you Jones. Need to understand what is going on. Right. I promised him everything. When the sun rises, I will be chained in his sunken desert temple for an eternity. But at least the evil about to awaken and to settle won't harm anyone outside of that cursed place. You're acting crazy, Jeremy. I want to help. There's nothing you can do. And what's all the business about Tarawea? Why did you want to go there? Well, I can't go there. I'm not allowed. But you wanted to. Can I go? Tell me, will it help me to break your pact? 
Is there something there that would help? Why would you give me hope? God. It's so cruel. Okay. Sounds like we're onto something here. What should Look I- Look out! Behind you! Run! Don't let him take you! Run, don't let him take you, immediately knocks us down and concusses us. Love that. Right, a legit bonk, man. My everything. Clutes, this is probably the letter he was talking I've about I've seen then. so many strange occurrences lately. Memories explode into existence and then bind out like tied glass bulb filaments. Dreamscapes crash down from the stars and sink into the sea. Doors that lead to nowhere and absolutely everywhere at once. With all this reverie, I want to think there's a chance that you found a way to remain alive in some way I cannot mm. fathom. Just like I've learned to navigate with my talisman. Maybe you, with all your knowledge, you somehow knew a way. A way to find me again, perhaps in Terroya. Oh, my love. Jeremy. All right. Luggage key. I don't know where this is actually used. Okay. Indiana Jones meets Silent Hill. Uh, I wouldn't call it Silent Hill in the slightest. I, I would say Cthulhu. S straight up Cthulhu. I would, when Indiana Jones meets Yog Sothoth. She's dead. No matter how she died, she looks peaceful now. Well, everything's all like wet and watery, like straight up Lovecraftian. The other world here is all like, I don't know. That's what she said. <laughs> Alright, does anyone know where the luggage key goes? Oh, wait, I missed this earlier. No cheeks. Well, tiny little cheeks, but mostly no cheeks. Hmm. Tiny cheeks. How about you? Just straight up, just a surfboard. Is this a person planking, or is this a dog? I don't know what that is, actually. Okay, let's check the map. Map. Let's see. Up and down. Nothing in the attic. Do, 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 do. Still can't get in Dr. Gray's apartment. Still can't get through most of these. We cannot... Maybe in the clerk's office? I'm not sure. That's blocked now. That shouldn't be blocked. We've been through there a lot. Literally doesn't show us where the key goes. Unless it's one of these. We may check the clerk's office, right? Where are we at? We're in the gallery. We can go down here. Which will put us right here. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. We're right next to it. That's outside. We don't, can't go that way, so we gotta go in here. And... Still have it? Oh yeah, we can get in this room. The puzzle was showing that it was, like, over here? I need the key. Yeah, we don't have this. Oh god, I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh no, please lord. There's no way I oh, can get into this thing. We don't have Better the safe leave. combination. That, that's it. Yeah, we don't have the safe combination. That's this puzzle. If you ring the bell 500 times, you get an achievement. Alright guys, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we do that a hundred more times. I'm kidding. Oh, we've been in there already. We've talked to that dude. Phone? There's no ET here. ET does not need to phone home. Wouldn't it be cool if, like, there was the combination, like, over, like, right here in this, we gotta, like, decipher it or something? That'd be pretty cool. Let's heal, because we're actually kind of hurt. 
Oh, Phoenix, it's literally just our health. Yeah. No, I was with you on that. I thought we were getting dirtier as the game went on. It's literally just us losing health makes us, like, look visibly dirtier. Okay. Radio. Alright, let's look around. We, wait, let's check, um, let's check the investigation. Perosi's body looked unharmed. Jeremy's. Gandhi couldn't figure out how she died, or why this wasn't a bigger upset to the people at the Seto. Engelman, I'm going to assume that it leads to a door, or the door leads to a room with a goat and a bucket. If I had to, if I had to make an assumption, Jeremy's steamer trunk. So I'm assuming then it's Jeremy's room we go to, Jeremy Hartwood's room. So straight up gallery, first door on the left. Got it. I know exactly where this goes now that I'm thinking about it. Both answers are correct. Do you have to milk the goat and then it tells you when Arcane Season 2 comes out? Or do you just grab like a goat udder and you spray it and a date appears on the ground? Nice. I forgot all about this. The very first room we went into. The Barlow Lens. We know exactly where that goes. Inside the code is a goat is a USB with the raw renders of Arcade Season 2. I think it goes straight across through this door and then to the left, maybe? Yes, you must milk the goat. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to give you a goat in a bucket and then have you not milk it. Right. Not this one. Is it this one? Okay, I'm lost a little bit. Uh. Oh, it's another floor up. Oh, no. No, down. Oh, never mind. Okay, let's go down through the plaza, Lottie's room. And when you are finished milking the goat, you can use bucket. Okay, but what do you use the bucket for? If you've already... It's full of goat milk. That's stupid. I got stuck. What did the poor go goat do to deserve that? Well, it helps the goat, right? The goat doesn't want to be swollen and, you know, feeling uncomfortable. So you're, you're helping the goat. You leave it for me to figure it out. Ay ay ay. Through here? No, not through here. Yeah, this is it. This one. And then it'll be on the right through here. Or not. This is the conservatory. The fired curry goat. I love curry. Barlow lens. Nice. Okay, now we have to adjust this. I'm going to need everybody's help on this one. We need to get a clear. I'm using left and right like it's telling me to. And it's... There we go. Get it as clear as we can. About there. And then... Like that? Nice! Oh, flashbang! Oh, I'm sorry. Whoa. Talisman coordinates to Tarawea. Okay. Son of a bitch. Okay, I know this one. We have this one. It's in... This book, I believe. Uh, all the way to the right. It should be... Never mind, I thought it was right here, but it is not. Do, 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 do. It's none of these. Do we have this written somewhere else? In one of these other diaries? It's not this one. This one, okay. Taurus. So, two up top. One down bottom, circles there, V shape. This one's gonna go here. Can I rotate? I can't rotate. Can I? No, I can't. That's interesting. Not like that. 
Is this going to go on the bottom left? Or bottom right, I mean? Surely not. This. There we go. It goes like that. That goes there. We can't rotate them this time, which kind of sucks. Never had curry or goat. Nice. Easy peasy. Nine, four, seven, baby. Whoa, what's going on? It's dialing in something all on its own and it's showing the way to another memory? Where is that? Oh, God. It's irritating my eyes so bad. Oh, I may have scratched my fucking cornea because this hurts. Another world seeping into Deceto. Was this a taste of that mysterious Tarawea? Okay. I'm not sure if I've had goat, but I love, like, curry chicken, curry rice. We have an Indian restaurant in town named, uh, Sitar, I think is how you say it. And it, it's so awesome. It, it, like, for lunch or whatever, it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. And then for dinner, you go and order your main dish. Like, if you're getting, like, curry or something. And um, they bring out your dish in, like, this massive fucking aluminum foil pan. And they just bring you rice until you're done eating. It's all-you-can-eat rice plus whatever dish you order. Chicken vindaloo. I've heard of that, but I've never had it. Let's see. Map. Where are we going now? Like, where do we put this in to go? How do we translate, or whatever the hell you call it? Where we teleport. Was it back in that room and I just missed it? Objective. Dining room. I'm so stupid. We literally just saw the dining room too. And I just passed it. That's locked. That's locked. We gotta go back to the, the plaza. And then take a left at the stairs. Okay. Transmigrate. I always like translocate. Chicken katsu curry. Crispy chicken vegetable noodles. I am so hungry. Please do not talk about food right now. I am I am starving. This room. My wife has been telling me that she's going to cook something for three days now. Here we go. Chapter three. Wait, that was one chapter? Holy shit, that was like two and a half hours. Fried wonton? Oh, God. I'm so, so hungry. I'm glad to see you made it. I had my doubts, but the hope you instilled has yet abandoned me. I guess this must be Tarawea. Who are you? My name is Juan Luis Jorge. And Juan this Luis Jorge. is indeed the convent of Tarawea. You'll have to excuse me, but Jeremy never got your name. The name's Edward Carnby. I'm a private investigator. You're not a patient, are you? No. I'm the author of a book that Jeremy once found important. How does that work? Are you part of this memory as well? Is this even a memory? I think calling me a manifestation of Yermi's subconscious would be more correct. And so is the convent of Tarawea. I'm a man Yermi has never met. And we are in a place that he has never been. Okay. So are you here to guide me or something? I have no more purpose than you do. I simply am. I will happily help you, of course, if I'm able. If you are already somehow part of Jeremy... Why did he want to come here? Isn't he sort of here already? Jeremy wanted to come here because it's a representation of his mind at peace. When Dr. Gray asks him to find his focus during his sessions, 
This far-flung convent is what Yermi imagines. He is under the impression that if he could physically come here, he would reach a perfect equanimity. A spiritual apotheosis. You don't think it would work? Yermi subconsciously knows it's just wishful thinking. He can't come here. Despite the pathways opened by the dark man between their seto and Yermi's psyche, it's simply not possible. But I'm here. <laughs> Indeed. It's a shame it's just another place for you, detective. Otherwise, you could have become a Buddha. Always a bridesmaid, never a blushing bride. Am I right? <laughs> I, yes, I suppose so. I don't like this guy. You'll have to chase enlightenment elsewhere. So what's the next best thing? What can I do here? You should seek out the convent library and try to find the truth about Yermi's relationship with the Dark Man. It's the sort of knowledge he represses and is unable to reflect on. Will it tell me how to break the pact? Perhaps. At least you'll have something to confront Yermi with. Wait, why can't you just tell me? I don't know such things. You'd be better off consulting the texts of Dr. Freud if you want such answers. I don't this guy, dude. No, thanks, I hate shrinks. There is another thing you should know about the library. He is here as well. The dark man has been working his way through the text for a long, long time. He's here? How am I supposed to get past? It doesn't him? look like they put he a lot of effort into his character model. Oh jeez, just not, perfect. Not Hopper. They did a great job on him, but yeah, the David Koresh looking dude. Doesn't look like they put a lot of effort into his face, honestly. We're gonna animate TV Girls were demons in it. Gee, yep, yep, Taro's right. I agree with Taro. I agree with Taro. Talk to me like I'm five. If you're five, I can't tell you. Oh, look at that. Look, oh, Phoenix. Phoenix, look at it. Would you just look at it? No, yep. Oh, this game has been gorgeous, and we find one flaw. We can see through the walls. They didn't, they, <laughs> they didn't snap it properly. Of all the complaints, though, that is the best one to have, because it has no impact on us. Let's go this way. Can you go through that corner? No. It got really quiet. Really quiet. This feels like a time we should sneak through here. Uh, look at his little hands, the way he puts them out whenever you first start walking. God. I think we just jump down, right? Nice. Okay, so we're in a realm that doesn't exist somewhere created by the Jeremy dude. And everything in here is, like, related to his subconscious, I guess? A little weird. Okay. Huh? Oh, that's that's stupid. We found the bathhouse. So what's happening in this game? What's the story? Um, we are a private investigator who has been sent to a place in Louisiana to determine the well-being of someone's uncle. And that uncle, we are told, is lost when we get there. And apparently he's been doing some voodoo, black magic, occult shit and teleporting through realities for some reason. And he's being pursued by something referred to as the Dark Man. And we are trying to figure out what There's the Dark Man is and why he's being chased. So... If I fall out, cleric office. Yeah, I, I saw you put that up there. I'm sorry. I just didn't want to talk while the uh, the cutscene talking was going. Jesus Christ.
Yeah, so much of this game is literally phenomenal. The soundscape is beautiful. The game is gorgeous. The movement isn't bad. Oh, no. Oh, baby. Oh, honey, no. No. What if they're just like, oh, guys, it's not a bug. That's a feature. You're, you're outside of reality. But no, the game is honestly very good. I can easily forgive these these small flaws. The great library it was library. beautiful and terrible. An Akashic record for the universe inside the mind of Jeremy Hartwood. There we go. Now corrupted by a story forced upon him, told by a maniacal liar, an evil conjured by science and secrecy. I will suspend a room and lock away the foundation of his character. Its key will be left to the librarian, the only thing invisible to the Prowler. God, why does he talk like that? Okay. I had to turn around to make sure that statue wasn't following me since Dawn said something. That seems like the kind of thing you already know about ahead of time, and you say it just to bug me. Anything over here? Nobody auto saved, so that's probably not great. What is this? The dialogue is a bit overwrought. I get it. I, I get the tone and the mood they're trying to set, so I'm not going to fault them for it. But I do fully understand what you mean. Dawn would never troll me like that. Never say never. No. Engelman is here, though, okay. so if anyone were to troll me. Unmasked evil. Another one, yep. Okay. Anything else in here? Or... No. The one thing I am noticing, though, is the farther we get through this game, the fewer and fewer there is, like, items and objects to interact with. And I don't like that. It feels like it's getting a bit lazy. Engelman would 100% troll me. Yes, I am well aware. Ooh. The key of Hubertus. to die. Can we hop down? We cannot hop down. We can't go this way. Fuck, what? We can't hop off the sides or anything. He's not moving. He's... Okay, he's not moving. Do we do... Let's see. Can't interact with that. I figured we'd be able to, like, move this and jump or something, but no. We're gonna have to run through it. Jump. Nope. Oh, the worst time to sneeze. Wait, where am I going? Okay, now it feels like Indiana Jones. I went 
Jesus Christ, we can see through all these walls. The textures are deteriorating. Okay, this is extremely anticlimactic. We have to go back. I know where this goes. It goes in the pedestal we passed. Right here, yeah. I walked right past it. He's just right here, though. Oh, shit! What the hell do we do? It's the dark man. We have no health left, no heals. Oh my god, dude. We're just right back here, though. Are we just one floor up? What the hell is going on? Also, now that we're three of five chapters in the game decided to introduce a sanity meter i don't know if you guys noticed that my health on the right side like i had like a purple sanity bar come up and we almost tried to self-terminate when i tried to shoot him grab this we need health bad drink heal up god that was that was a terrible area God. It was in the hot autumn that I went through the night with the restless crowds. He was a kind of itinerant showman who held forth in public halls and aroused widespread fear. The New Orleans address of the event is lost, but I remember distinctly the Prext shipping company pressing their contribution. Hey. We saw the guys walking up behind him. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> Detective! What? What? I hope you found what you were looking for. I fear there is no hope. Yeah, I think there is a picket of, of, of the mask in there. I was so close. There must be something I can work with. Come on, Carby, think. Think. Where's our hat? Where's our hat? Right. Good luck, detective. Is he just gonna teleport now? Yeah, they dropped hints about him being unstable, Tarot, and that's fine, but I'm talking. That was a weird jump cut. I'm talking about just the fact of introducing a new gameplay mechanic 60% well, through the game. Thank God you're here, detective. Sitting all alone in a place like this. I'd never live it down if the papers got wind of it. Hey. Ruth, right? Oh, don't pretend you don't know. I'm sure you have a whole file on me by now, detective. I suppose we weren't formally introduced. I'm Ruth Talon. Miss Talon. Ruth Talon, in case you're wondering. Edward Carnby. Mainly oh, because for that one character, yeah. Is it a different story if I chose the other character? That's a good question, actually. Are you sure? Does anyone know the answer I to that? I too many already. We've also not seen nice. the other characters since the start. It's good. <laughs> I know. I have great taste, Detective. That is a very good question, though. I heard you're trying to break Jeremy's promise to the Dark Man. Yeah. 
Do you know anything about that kind of stuff? No, but it makes you wonder. If he made a promise, can't he simply stand by his words? Maybe overlaps, but they see other things. I'm assuming it's mostly identical, except for the dialogue. Look, I'm just trying to get Jeremy out of a bad deal, so he'll come back with us to New Orleans. Well, if all fails... What are you doing? <laughs> it's a sign of submission to the Dark Man. I saw it in a dream once. That's the hand we saw that we used what? The, the medallion of. Good night, Dawn. Thanks for stopping in. Hope you have a good night and a good day tomorrow. You don't know the Prext Shipping Company by any chance? I do. They made big money during the war. But their waterfront office is just over there. How did you do that? Do what, detective? Bon chance. I really don't like her. Hey, have you seen Emily Hartwood anywhere? She stole her Siggy. Are Siggie. you trying to make me jealous, detective? No, I haven't seen your doll anywhere. Her hands are massive, by the way. I don't know if anyone else noticed. She has full-grown lumberjack man hands. Holy shit. That cigarette looked like a toothpick in her hands. Okay. Matchbook. Okay. We're stuck. There we go. Shipping company. According to the book in Tarawea, the Dark Man is connected to a performance that Jeremy went to somewhere in New Orleans. Straight into combat. I'm sure I can All right. the address inside. Or not. Okay. Or not. Can't lock on to enemies. Nice. We have no more healing because... If you want to call it a boss battle, that boss battle fully drained our resources, but it's fine. Let's pick up that. What are you aiming at? So, like, for these things on the ground right here, you can't aim at all, which is terrible. You just kind of look in a general direction and hit the button and hope it goes where you want it to. That literally flew over the house. That was an insane throw. Um, you can't actually aim at all un unless you're... Mouse, mouse toing the uh, the gun. So the melee is hard. You can't lock onto the enemies like you should be able to. Back up, back up, back up. Oh god! Nope, 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 nope. We die here, boys. Our first death. That was a ten out of ten headshot. Welcome back, critical. Hope you don't mind if I just call you critical. Got you with the dad joke. We love dad jokes here. Nope. Nope. That should have killed him. That's another headshot. And another headshot. Okay. That took seven shots on that one? Or eight? It took eight. Okay. Health. Oh, thank fuck. Guzzle, guzzle. Guzzle, guzzle. Okay. Nolan's Docks, Pier number 11. Sewer entrance. We are... Where are we at? Are we here? Here? I don't know which one we're in. Let's Sewer check our map. has a tunnel running right below Preg's shipping company. I bet I can use it to get inside. Hope work wasn't too bad for you today, Critical. Happy to have you back. Your map is of no use here. Some have. Oh, let's read this. Somehow, Combi was back in New Orleans, close New Orleans. to the docks. He could smell the pungent aroma of the Mississippi River. In front of him was the Prext Shipping Company. According to the book in the library, he should find the address to where Jeremy first met the dark man. Inside. Inside. Can we go in here? No. Nope. We need more ammo and more health. And more melee. Let's grab that. Uh, ooh, climb up here. 
We're not going to attack the crows, so don't even, uh, don't even ask. We are going to jump through, though. Hope it was long to listen to. Hey, I'm, I'm glad we could help out a little bit. Happy to hear that. Let's see, just shotgun ammo. That's fine. We love shotgun ammo. And a key. Right there. Stevedore's key. God dang it, dude. Can I just run? Can't go that way. I don't know if you're if you've got headphones on, but some of these noises are so realistic of like shit just moving and making sounds that I keep fighting the urge to take my headphone off and look behind me to figure out what in the hell that noise is. We gotta fight him now. That was such a miss. That was embarrassing. Oh, that was embarrassing. I fired too quickly. Okay, no there. Way I can get that's the entrance to the sewer. Parents. But if I get cranes right here, we got the key already. Should have everything we need to succeed. Four pistol ammo. Let's pull that out. Oh, more heal. More drink. Hell yeah. More drink. Do the bonkai thing. <laughs> bonkai. Did nothing. Didn't help us at all. Move that. Hold up. Oh, I can't jump down. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. We took one hit, but lost no ammo. I'm here for it. All day, any day. Okay. Let's see. Ooh. Nice. I don't like that throaty grudge sounding noise. What your bonkai would look like? That's a good question. That's the normal enemy. Okay. We're going to leave it alone. We're just going to go through. Was that a fucking spider? Okay. Um, I don't want to have to fight spiders. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Probably finding your... I'm actually upset at Engelman right now. Oh my god. Really finding a glitch. My fucking power is no clipping out of reality into the back rooms. I got glitched. I see the ladder. Nothing to pick up. Nothing to pick up. Okay. My luck. That you know that would be my bonkai is, is for a day, for a single day, I'd have good luck. Good luck. Like, that's it. Probably not even for an entire day. Probably for like just one or two encounters or something. Like I would just be lucky. Right. We were playing Helldivers earlier and I died because I threw a grenade. And the moment I threw a grenade, an enemy behind me jumped in front of me and collided with the grenade. And it killed me. Made it inside the warehouse. The office must be upstairs. Let's see. Nothing over here. Shotgun shells uh, were reloaded. We have six and 13 and four heals. Let's go ahead and heal to full. Because it only gives us about a quarter of our health. Ooh, severed horn. It could be as well. Dying to friendly fire on the spot. That already happens. That already happens.
Yeah, I was playing with Caveman earlier, and Caveman didn't realize that you could cook a grenade in your hand until it explodes, and was trying to be cheeky with it. Fire poker. And stood right next to me while cooking the grenade and talking shit. Which then proceeded to kill the both of us. And we had no reinforcements left. So. That was... That was a lot of fun. Oh, 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 you don't say. <gasps> hey, oh, let's try one of these with the wooden foregrip stock, the Tommy gun. Oh, we just need the we just need the dinner plate mag, man. All right, all right. What did Dawn say that the uh, the combo was? Because she left us with the combo. I'm pretty sure she did. If it's not this one, then it's the other safe that we've been trying to do. You'll scroll. Thank you, Phoenix. I think it was like nine something something. All his things. Our ship was raided while in dock. All of his things were recovered. Nine one three. Was shed. Several men were carried into the Mississippi River and drowned by ones who live in the deep. Nine one two. All items have now been signed and delivered. Nine one three. Now let's keep the papers safe. Y you guys are killing me. He's left. You guys Later, are killing me. He's right. And hell is back again. 913. Okay. What later in hell? Left, right, left. Is this the cleric? Like, is this where we're at? Or was that the one that was uh, in the house? That was the one in the house, right? Let's see. All his things. I'm assuming this one, the number corresponds to this. Four left, five right, four left. Or, I don't know if this is the cleric. We're going to try this real quick. Four left, five right, four left. How do we do it? No. Okay. She sent it after the house safe. Because we've not done the house safe yet. That's why I was curious which one it was. So 913. Is that the number of times I turn it or where I turn the dial to? Nine. Okay, let's do it the other way. So that's 12, 11, 10, 9, 1. Yeah. Unless I did it wrong just now, then that's not it here. Let's try going the other way. Nine. One. Three. Yeah, nine, one, three counterclockwise. I'm thinking she was talking about the other one because. Yeah, that's nine. That's one, right? And then we. Gotta go back the other way because it's a safe, and that's three. So that can't be right. I, I the clerk was the one in the in the house because that that's uh, looked like the mail room. Remember, that's what I thought it was. Yeah, that that's the one for the house. Oh shit! Let's check out. All right, what's this one again? Four left, five right, four left. So let's go. Shit. Four. Three, four. Yeah. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Yeah, the clerk was at the house. Because remember, I was like, is this a library? Is it a mail room? So that would make sense. Gotta go manifest on September 19th, 1892. Black shipping company delivered four steamer trunks. Egyptian drums, coffin. One Egyptian sarcophagus. And a large wooden crate belonging to the showman called the Black Pharaoh. Black Pharaoh. Street. That makes sense. Okay. Didn't they eat a lot of mummies? Is, is, is that a real thing? Isn't that why go. mummies the are like... where Jeremy first encountered the dark man. Actually scarce now?
can we... Oh, fucking Christ. Okay, we're gonna just run past him. Big noodly arm boy right there. You think mummies for longevity? Yeah, it was. That's what I thought. Oh, we actually can't go through there. We can't. Never mind. The fire's in the way. I'm all out of bullets. We're almost done. Can we collateral? Nice. And now the fire burns out, of course. I think if you threw the bottle at the enemy like night by itself. That'd be cool. I just wish it would actually aim. Like, you can't aim it at all. That's the issue with it. Like, uh, say if I want to hit, like, right there. Say I'm trying to hit that light. I'm aiming here and it hit down there. Like, it's impossible to figure out where it goes. And you can't. Ho oh, you can hold it. Never mind. I've been playing the game wrong the entire time. You can literally just pick it up and hold it. Can I light it? I cannot light it. Let's find an enemy and see if we can chuck it at them and light, and it lights them. I don't think it's going to, Aerith, but that's a really good observation. I don't. All right, we're just gonna chuck this one. Looks like the fog cleared up. Okay, the fog bank has lifted. The address you're looking for is just down the street. Okay. Oh yeah, this is where we started out at. We couldn't go this way. I know, so slow carrying it. I do want to chuck it at an enemy now to, to test that. If there's a way to light it too though, I really wish the game would just explain that. Because it has refused to explain any of the mechanics to the game and we left on the setting that tells us the mechanics. You watched the playthrough earlier, that's what he did? Okay. I, don't, I just don't know if there's another button combination that I gotta do to like light it, but we'll try it. How late are you playing tonight? I'm gonna finish this game. We're currently uh, just about four hours into it. It's supposed to be about a four to five hour game. But we have played it pretty slowly to try to listen to everything and read it all, so. See what happens. We played till like 2 a.m. last night, so I mean, I'm, I'm good to go. You want to tell me what this is all about? Yeah, he just left Welcome us for dead. Welcome to Detective. To the greatest show this side of the Mississippi. Nile off the tap. Straight up Nile Lovecraft. The, Hotel, the Black Pharaoh. Nile Hotel. The ancient magician who lived a thousand lives and wore a thousand masks. Hmm. I can see why you settled on calling him the Dark Man. Saves your breath. So, you got scared by a stage magician, and now he's living inside your head. You can mock me, detective. But you would be the crazy one to think his presence can be ignored. Is it like... Look where we are! Is it like a pharaoh's curse, or is it PTSD? We didn't get to finish our last conversation, did we? You were about to tell me how to break the contract with the Dark Man. No, we can't. We were trying to loose on the world. So many innocent would die. But there is a way to break out of the deal. There is. You offered me a way out. Steps to take. Why would he tell us that what earlier? Like hours ago. You'll never find them. They're forever entombed in his sunken desert temple. Are we gonna get Jeremy, to go in the temple? I'm not your enemy. Tell me where to go. How do I find the temple? No, we can't. I have to make this sacrifice. Good night, Kayla. Uh, 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 God damn it, Jeremy. I'm going to save you. Don't worry. Uh, 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 
it's so strange to go from Resident Evil 4 where we can fall like 10 stories and take an explosion. How do you save someone who doesn't want to be saved? Then be fine. Well, he's going to get saved no matter what. I just need to find the temple somehow. To switch to someone who's actually realistic, who gets pushed over a chair and takes 10 minutes to stand back up because her back hurts. All right, we have this symbol already. We know this. Okay. Let's see. This one right here, right? There's nothing I can do with it. We have a book. We have a book with this in it. Oh, this one. Uh, over here. It's this one right here. So. Okay, it's going to be that cipher again. What is that symbol? Okay, let's go back to. What is that one? I'm so bad with these. Let's back out. We don't have it anymore. We don't have the thing anymore. That has the numbers on it, right? Oh, it's this one. God damn it. Okay. It's going to be two. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, two, five. Virgo. I think Is it Virgo or Scorpio? I think it's Virgo. So five, six, seven, nine. All right. So two, five, and nine, but not in that order. So it'll be nine, two, and five, I think. Nine, think wrong way. Two, five. Nope. Or not. I am fully wrong. Was it nine or seven? I am just way off base, apparently. Right? Because shouldn't it be the center one? The center one's the first one? 592? I think those are the correct numbers. We just have them in the wrong order. God dang it. 592? No. What do I have wrong here? Because these are our three, right? And then in our little book right here, we know the numbers on them. This one. Yeah, because it's a Pisces, right? Is it a Pisces, Gemini? And then Virgo. Yeah. So that's two, three, four, five, six, six. It's an eight. It's an eight, not a nine. That's my bad. Sorry, guys. So let's do 852. Eight five two? No. What about eight two five? I I guess I don't know what I'm doing at all. What do you think, Phoenix? Should we look around a little bit? Or keep guessing? I'm pretty sure we have everything we need though. Key, we don't it won't even let us try that. Yeah. Eight in the middle. Yep, it's eight in the middle. Let's see. Not five eight two. God damn it, dude. Oh. Let's see. Those are the numbers, though, right? Like we see this right here. Nope, not you. This one. Five two eight. I think we've done all the combinations, haven't we? We can try five two eight. Plot plot twist. We're glitched. That'd be genuinely hilarious. I don't know, man. I don't feel like we should be having this much of a problem with it, though. Five eight two. 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 We're gonna go through all of them, I guess. This is the first time I've had an issue with this. It was 258, yeah. Wow, why was that so hard? Shoots fish in a barrel. Uh, back 
a chair. Red with an eye. It's one of these. Or front of a chair, I guess. I thought we tried all of those. That was really weird. That opened, and I didn't go through it. Why in the hell does it show me like a a little snapshot of the place I'm already in? Why is it irrelevant? Let's see. Luckily, that was the very first time we've had an issue with that, though. Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that. Is that an eclipse? Nothing good ever happens during an eclipse. Ever. Come on. Come on. There we go. Th that is a very realistic reaction to jumping off of a three-foot embankment. The dad noises. Ugh. You can see the ground textures clipping. Come on, guys. The clips on your birthday now. Are you... In the path, what? A sunken desert temple. I better get down there. Ten machine gun bullets. I can't. There we go. Did I just hear a snake? Let's go over here. Pistol bullets. One machine gun the bullet. The of Nephron Car lies under our camp. Despite all efforts, that unholy site did not collapse, but sink beneath the sand. The pharaoh is long dead, his name meticulously stricken from all ancient writing. But that stage meant for blood and terror remains. The temple is said to be lightless, built to harbor all the haunters of the dark found. In the very depths of our universe. Calling on the gods meant creating a bridge between our world and theirs. The terrible Aldebaran of Taurus. Aldebaran. The Black Sun. What a word. Seen as the most important star in the night sky. Because according to the Kitab al -Azif, it was said to be the home of that crawling chaos known as Nyalahotep. Nyalotep. Through ancient mechanisms, it was said that the priests could open shafts channeling the light emitted by that strange stone called the Shining Trapezohedron. Jesus, these words. Several streams pulled together above the statue of that dark man would then be sent through space towards the Black Sun. A message to the gods. The gifts bestowed on the sender are completely undocumented but often assumes to involve dark blood pacts where souls are traded for malicious miracles. We, we did know that already. It's the whole reason we're here. Rope. Nice. It's a full eclipse across North America. Oh! Oh, you meant like IRL my birth week. Okay. I was so confused. Well, that sucks. That's unlucky me, because nothing good ever happens during an eclipse. Are these going to attack me? Okay, no. I'm assuming we tie off to the obelisk. Anchor? Yep. Here we go. Nice. Just straight up, no gloves, raw dog in it. Oh god, that that hurts my hands just watching it. The veil does get a little thin around those times. I think it's at its thinnest then. We're just gonna take this with us. That I've seen that before. Um you can get those on the internet. What is this? Nothing? Okay. Nope. Oh. These actually attack us? Yep. Oh, 
Oh, those things are disgusting, man. The Taurus. I got a feeling this is it. This is where the contract is hidden. But how do I get to it? Now that I'm finding flying enemies that unlock the memory of something that happened earlier today, also in Helldivers, Phoenix, we were playing Helldivers and we got lucky enough to be one of the few people who gets to fight the flying bugs that just got released. And as a flying bug is coming at me, I kill it and its body collides with me and kills me. Even dead enemies are not safe. You could make soup out of them. I bet it wouldn't taste very good. Can I, there we go. Nice. Mm. Lens carrier. There's oh, something shit. missing. Let's do this first. Ammo. It didn't pick the ammo up. There's the ammo. Seven rounds. I'll take that. There is the lens, I'm assuming. The horizon. Lens crafted with unexpected precision and fitted with a telling hieroglyph. Hmm. That goes there, and then we flip the switch. Nice. What happens if I run through this? Will it kill me? I really want to figure out nothing. Okay. That would have been hilarious, though. Swingless operation. Ooh. Oh, we should write messages, right? L. O L Can we take the lens with us now? Oh, that sucks. Okay. Nothing above us. I'm looking up since the enemies kind of look like bats, I'm trying to make sure there's nothing hanging above us ready to drop down on us. Always check your corners. I would like to also say again how good of a job they did. Like, the little hieroglyphic details on the walls, it, it's so good. Uh, okay. Alright, let's look for an enemy. Actually, this is not a bottle. What is this? That was like a piece of paper. The like coupon book. I think the flying enemies are going to be too fast for me to hit them, too. Got that one. I hear at least two more. One below, one to the left. I don't see... Oh, my God. Where is it? Oh, fuck. All right, let's grab this one. Okay, we need a lens. Okay, all right. We're going to have to grab a lens for each one, it looks like. Okay. Okay. And then we'll recheck the constellation. Grab that. And go through here. Cool. I, I do agree with the design philosophy, Phoenix. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going. Can I... Can I yoink this? No, I cannot. Okay. New melee weapon. What is this? Children of a Dark Sun. Interesting. I like the dark matter energy they went with for the beam, too. Like it's somehow a beam, but also solid black. Nothing here. I can't go through there, although I can see through it. I'm assuming that'll fall down later. Let's grab this. Oh, that's cool. No, that is cool as hell, man. That's awesome. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. I can't aim any further. I can't break anything with it. 
Do I do something else with this? No. There we go. Fuck. Take them out while they're. I can't shoot through a rug. Of course. Why would I be so silly as to try and shoot through a rug? Okay, let's go back and stand on the head, and I think we do something over there? We'll find out. Not that one. It's right here. Can we grab this? We cannot. Okay. Do we need to activate the other jewels, I'm assuming? Yes, we activated one of the three. Okay, got it. Alright, we'll keep moseying on the way we were headed then. We need to find more lenses with which to do puzzles. Alright, let's go up here, because we didn't go up last time. This one, lens carrier. Where are these lenses at? Did I just like miss something? Because we've been everywhere. Huh. Right? We've already been all the way around this and... Oh, I didn't see this. We can break this. There's the wall smashing mechanic we've now used twice in this game. Alright, same thing as last time. Should be a lens in here. No? Alright, let's just hit the switch. Okay, now we can grab this. And where are we aiming it? Not there. I'm not sure where this goes. Straight, you can't, oh, can't aim straight up. Down left. Oh god, I couldn't see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. I don't know why I didn't see that. The star. Okay, so this is a key item, so this is a lens too. Lens craft, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, all, they all say the same thing. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why I didn't think about it being the treasure chest right there. That, that. An Adsy? Adsy? It just looks like a pickaxe. It looks pretty menacing though. I, I will say that. I would not like to, uh, to let that take a chunk out of me. I'm glitched. I'm glitched. Oh, there we go. Engelman, shut the hell up. Okay, so now we can just go up, I'm assuming. Can't go through there. Ooh, wait, did we... We came from down. We came from down, right? Okay, let's, let's, let's go back up then. And I don't know which one to use this on. Ooh. Nothing there. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's come back up. Dead end, okay. This entire place looks the same, so I'm getting lost pretty easily. Alright, so let's use this one to hit the... I can't use it, actually. Oh, okay. Does it go... star? Got it. It takes me a second, but I'll figure it out. I'm just a little slow, okay? Alright, so I'm assuming this one goes directly in the center. I do want to burn these. Yep, there we go. Jesus Christ! Nice! We burned one of them, too. The The beam actually burned one of them. 
Does it not go there? It worked. There we go. So now we can go back the way we were, over to the right right here, which takes us to the bottom. And then we can go through that door. The animation for running down the stairs is so goofy, but to be fair, running down the stairs IRL looks pretty goofy. Oh, nope. Nope. Not today, Satan. Ooh-wee, they're a coming. Pro gamer, number one. Pro gamer, number one. Oh, God. Oh, buddy. That was stressful because we are low on ammo. All right, let's grab this one. Why does it tell me to look it says on the bottom left escape to go back but if I hit escape it puts us in the menu we have to right click to get out of it that's lazy and that goes here so now we can use this one to go right there what is this oh it's just more uh more of those things okay more melee weapons the underworld key item grab that Okay, let's go back. I think that's all of them, right? I know there's one more door that we've not been in yet. Let's go up. Oh, it's this door, actually. We're gonna, yep. This is the exact door I was thinking about. Nice. I like the way we came around the map like that. That was, that was pretty good map design. Good movement, honestly. All right, where does this one go, though? Is it? It's that one. Okay, because it looks like the little jellyfish. Now we gotta run all the way around. Never mind. I rescind my comment. Uh, yeah. Well, Phoenix, I wish they would hire you so that you could fix that, and I wouldn't have to complain about it. All right. this one on his head. Wait, we don't have to. Yeah, we do. Okay, so now we go to the center one. Do I have to go all the way around for this one, too? No, okay. Okay, okay. We're good. I forgot this little passageway was here. Oh, my God. And there's two rooms here. The first one is his crown. So we'll go through the first room. Right there. Can we... We can't do anything with it? Do we need to aim that light at this one now? We are sinking into the ground over and over again. Look at that. Only me. Only I can find this many bugs this quickly. I need to just be hired as a professional beta tester at this point. Rob, find the bugs. Get him, boy. And I'd find the bugs. Not even on purpose. Alright, so now we grab this one. And I'm assuming we hit the... Yep. Okay, now what? Do I go all the way across where I just was and use that one now? Please. Oh, okay. That's what it's looking like, boys. Unfortunate. Nope, not that way. This way. And then it's this one. Cool.
Better hurry down there. Whoop, okay. Now we get an Indiana Jones temple collapsing kind of run. All right, I'll go for that. We're dressed for the part. Run, 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 come on. We're moving really slow for what's going on behind us. Grab the machine gun. Go, 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 go. Nice. Oh, nope, nope, nope. This way. And... Nope. We're stuck. There we go. This is ready to collapse. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we took that hit. Son of a biscuit. I'd rather take the hit than waste the ammo. Who's that? Oh, it's a stone. I hope this is the right way. Okay, it's the right way. Okay. Suddenly it's no longer... Never mind. Or what is this? It's a stone container? Doesn't look like a very effective dagger. How you can open letters with that thing? Psychological trauma, breakthrough barriers of self-deceit, temper manic behavior. What is the dark man's terms? The contract. Huh? Okay, it's just the bats. No way. What? What? It's just going for a leisurely stroll, guys. Nothing to worry about here. They're just they're helping us commute, right? Fuck, that was funny. That was just funny. That was a funny scenario. Now we're in the attic. Hey. Hey, is that good? Good God. <sighs> What are you doing? Oh, I found something. We hey. haven't seen this bitch in three hours. Was it alcohol? God, no. I just got the wind knocked out of me. I think I know how to break the contract with the dark man. What exactly does that mean? Everything going back to normal. Uh, all right. Uh, I found some more information on Dorsetto and the patients. There are some seriously strange things going on here. I'm pretty sure two of the patients are dead and maybe even the clerk. Oh, yeah. I kind of just gave up on worrying about that. That's a well, good question, Mio. Just keep your eyes open, I suppose. What were you doing again? Jeremy made a pact with the Dark Man to keep all the madness locked inside Dorsetto. All right. I'm gonna break it. I just have. To... Where is it? Where's the talisman? It's around your neck. <laughs> ah. Ah. I worry, detectives. Don't. I'm fine. I worry that you're not much help on this case. But at least you're a good distraction. Trust me, you're getting your money's worth. At this rate, I'm an absolute bargain. Listen, I don't like this game enough to play it a second time. I'm going to be real with you. It, it's been a fun visual safari, but I don't care about anything that's going on here. That That's pretty much all there is to it. I, the only way I'm going to play it is if her storyline is a completely separate game. Acknowledge, yeah, we, we, we read that already. All right, let's read. Medicine has failed me. Nothing can be done to dispel the hardwood curse. Only the sacrificial dagger may release the despair from Jacob's eye. Yet, doing so would be the doom of Dasetto. Dasetto. Let this curse of mine be a weapon for once. Look at this curse. Curse of mine. Demands. Oh, crawling chaos. Build your prison around this godforsaken hospital. When evil has been starved, I will stay buried forever. Two games for $60, then maybe. 
What's up, Chris? No worries, buddy. I know exactly where we're at, too. Let's go down to the clerk's office. I need the locked key. door. I'm at Phoenix. I'm accessing the door on the floor below me through the floor. That's that's what it's doing right now. Why is this here? Why is this hanging like this? Can you imagine being strapped to that motherfucker? <laughs> okay, this is the dining room. <sighs> Got to be around here somewhere. He wouldn't leave this house. I don't know what to think anymore. The shopkeep. You run into that detective, Bella. Who is he? Can he be trusted? I think it's like the one that played. Her past should be different, you overlapping know, with Carnby. Will he be all right with her? But coming? not just her being placed in the exact same sort of situations. He don't even know about all that. She hitting the gritty? Just calm down. The hell was that? God, it hurts. As far as I can tell, Detective Combi seems to be solving problems, not causing them. Just be ready in case he starts anything. That was weird as hell, dude. If her story is like actually fucking different, I, I will play it a second time to get my money's worth. Because so far, this isn't a game I'd pay more than $30 for, maybe 40 Not when Helldivers is $40, and I've gotten 70 hours of entertainment out of it already. But if I'm in the same house, finding all the same objects, doing the same puzzles, and she just has slightly different exposition, it's not worth my time. I am interested, though. I am intrigued. Also, does she even have a gun? Because when we first got here, she asked us if we had a gun. Christ, what the hell was that? It's blocked. Okay. We do not have a lot of ammo left. Oh, that's the, okay. I know where we're at. It's blocked. And don't let that come off the wrong way. I, I have been enjoying my time. This game has been enjoyable. I'm just saying that if there's not enough differences between the two storylines, there's no real reason to go through it. Lunacy in the Astarte Artist Colony. It was getting more towards combat. Monograph by Yael Klein. Oh, there's more puzzles? In okay. early 1909, the old Derseto Plantation outside of New Orleans was turned into an artist's colony. I got you, Emma. Three famous European artists rented the house and the surrounding land from the owner, the Ledoux family. The colony was chiefly run by Sebastian Cortez, who was playfully dubbed the captain by his collaborators, William Argus and Heinrich Kassel. The colony existed for six years, until one day all twelve members disappeared without a trace. It is widely believed that their disappearance is connected to the disastrous hurricane that passed through on September 29, 1915, but nothing truly supports this claim. What is known is their frequent participation in New Orleans nightlife, their love for hosting parties, and their elaborate contributions to the Mardi Gras parades as the pirates of Panchartrin. Accounts of their lifestyle can be found in almost every gossip column. It can effectively be summed up as carefree and bohemian. In late June 1909, the name Astarte first appeared in the newspapers. Cortez said the name came to him as he was painting. There is never any claim to knowing about the ancient Phoenician fertility goddess with the same name before Jesus this Christ. time. His fellow colonist Heinrich Castle did know, because he later produced sculptures that show clear references to ancient idols of the goddess. It's impossible to know for sure how this name suddenly made an appearance, but it is interesting because of Derseto's history. Doesn't Astarte, Astarte, however you want to say it, d doesn't it just mean marine? Even the name Derseto is the Greek name of a Syrian fertility goddess. In the case of naming the plantation, 
Their settle was certainly not an accident. We know that Elijah Pickford intended to build a temple for his cult, for he had distributed pamphlets two years prior to the purchase of the land, advertising his intentions. His followers were estimated to be almost a hundred men and women, mostly sailors, maroons, and Cajuns, when the plantation was built. To outsiders, Dorsetto registered as an ordinary slave plantation, which enabled Pickford and his flock to remain hidden for decades. Thank the you for official the spamming story hearts. is that the cult lasted until 1862, when the Union Army came and burned down the plantation and scattered all who lived there. Following the Civil War, new people started to congregate in the ruins of Dorsetto to invent a new fertility goddess, the Shub Nigra. Sh Shub no, as much God. as Dorsetto is a particular name to have heard of, it's not entirely uncommon among the learned. Astarte is equally known and could have been subconsciously chosen by well-read artists. Shub Nigrath is, on the other hand, very uncommon. Almost impossible that anyone in Louisiana would have heard that name. The name is referenced only in rare books like Unausprechlichen Kulten and, and the Necronomicon. Necronomicon and is believed to be a bastardization of Arabic words meaning yep. pertaining to the dark young. Yep. The few paragraphs printed on the goddess are so upsetting that no one in their right mind would want to build a religion resting on such qualities. The Shub Nigarath cult was hard to get rid of, but it is believed that despite the police jailing and killing several cultists over the years, the main culprit in the cult's demise is the cult itself, which seems to line up with every instance of cult activity on Darsetto's grounds. When Captain J.W. Norton of the Union Army arrived, he described the people at Darsetto as malnourished and maniacal. As much as the army tried to save them, they fought back with fervor, as if nothing was going to stop them from slowly destroying themselves. While the disappearance of the Astarte artist colony remains a mystery, the recurring motif seems to suggest that their fate involved lunacy and a hunger for self-sacrifice to that fertility goddess with a thousand names. No one answered me, by the way. Doesn't Astarte, like, literally just mean marine? Even the... Is that... Is that the, the Latin translation, the transliteration for it? Ooh, this is new. Opera playbill, okay. Let's go find that, um... Let's, let's, let's go find the, uh, the safe Don gave us the, uh, the code for. Right. Let's go do that real quick. Uh, this this way. This one, no, it's locked. That's right. We gotta go up. I don't want to run into the orderlies right now. I'm not sure I can trust them. Everyone is talking. Do not disturb. That's new. This wasn't here before. I think Dr. Gray might be in there. Perfect time to snoop around his office. Though. Is anything open, man? Any of the doors? We can't go. I guess. Can we go down? Maybe? This doesn't look like it did earlier. This is different. Doesn't appear so. What does it mean then? Broken spectacles. We are just finding stuff everywhere now. Like, nothing here. Oh, this is new too. We must have faith that Jeremy's pact with the Dark Man is a bluff. The Dark if Man. If we're lucky, our visitors will find him and prove it's all nonsense before night falls. What is true is our attempt to call on her. Too many things have happened for this evening to be in vain. Think of Jack and Cassandra, even Perosi, whose circumstances I can't understand. Grace is our goat without horns. She knows it and will play the role. You must talk to your brother, Batiste. 
I worry that he will fail us. Mrs. Thompson. Aside from it being the name of a fertility goddess, the definition of it is kind of not solid, it looks like. Because I've looked up the definition of that word before. The only reason I ask is because whoever made this game must be a, a fan of Warhammer 40k because of the Astartes and the Phoenician are all themes that are Mrs. straight Thompson, out of that too. I understand the last week has been busy. Under these circumstances, I find it important to remind you that Ursetto's concerns are not a public matter, nor is it something that should upset you. Please continue your excellent work, and don't spend a thought on the death of Perosi, or, more importantly, the suicide of Cassandra Beauregard. Oh. They should mean nothing to you or the staff. I rely on your loyalty, and trust that your close kinship with the Tabois siblings will keep Tercetto's secrets hidden. Did we know that she opted out? Or is that the first time we're learning that? like whispering trees. Yeah, the only other references are to 40k. And half the time you look up the definition, it just comes up and says related to or pertaining to marine. The Phoenician is also, um, this guy's storyline is almost a one for one rip from Fulgrim, the Phoenician Primarch from Warhammer 40k. Now that I'm seeing all the similarities, even with the Lovecraftian bullshit thrown in, it, it's extremely low effort. And the Dorian Gray stuff about the painting earlier, Fulgrim gets trapped in a painting and has to watch his soul taken over by some dark entity pilot his body. What if the bear came to life and attacked us? That would be pretty funny. Good and goofy. There must be a spare key to Dr. Gray's office in here somewhere. All right, here we go. I don't have Open the combination it. for All this. Right. Nine, Maybe was it? Maybe Jeremy did. 913? Uh, nine. One. We gotta go all the way around, don't we? Yeah, nice. Thanks, Phoenix. I thought I could remember it. Dr. Gray's office key. And another the last guest in the empty room. It is just giving us so much exposition now that we're near the end. Holy shit. I'm going to listen to this as I walk away to go to the restroom because, yeah. The last guest in the empty room suffered from severe maladaption. I must write this down because if I understand the condition sufficiently, it could make me deny this fact at a later date. And there is reason for me to think... I may come to suffer the consequences from this dysfunction, as some who came in contact with the guest seemed to adopt a new worldview in which everything was predetermined but broken. Upon accepting this worldview, some memories became unmanageable and later rejected. I do not know what this means. I cannot even remember the fate of Jake? the guest. Jake, you son I of a bitch. <laughs> they were simply misplaced one day and forgotten. Oh my god. Just like all documents pertaining to this guest. Luna they got have all one. Been destroyed or they never existed in the first place. 
Who wrote this? Oh my there god. There has never been a guest in the empty room. I, I did. I came back too fast. I'm sorry. Thanks, Jake. Thanks, man. You don't have to do that. I appreciate you. Look at all that. One Mad Apple. John C. JNS Pierce. Nye Driftlin. Hunter H. Luna K. We love Luna. I haven't seen her in a minute, but we do love Luna. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. I hope you sleep well. Making it rain, right? We need to get Emma a membership. That damn randomization. Emma's here all the damn time. Bitter will enjoy <laughs> Good. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate you. You know you don't have to do that. Dr. Gray's office, all to myself. Let's see if we can figure this guy out. Cassandra's I things. have finished tidying up Miss Beauregard's belongings. I will leave it to you to contact her agent and have them collect her things. I'm going to start walking away more I often. I found one of Grace's drawings she might want back, along with this key in her room, which I believe you've been looking for. Mrs. Thompson. France. Ah, we know this. We know it goes on the globe. Nice. And the stairwell key. Nice. It's throwing so much at us now that it would, like, normally, like, take its time telling us. Dr. Manzetti, oh my God. I find myself in a losing battle with my patient. What? As I've disclosed in my previous letter, uh. his delusions have him completely captured. It's bad enough that he is torturing himself with paranoia. I'm going to play until it finishes. But his madness turns Critical. out to be quite persuasive to others. Effectively laying the ground for mass delusion. Maybe another hour, I'm maybe? I'm to you in hope that you can give me some guidance. Oh. Beyond my ambition to avoid devastating surgery on my patient, I have grown worried about my own defenses. The words of my patient are deranged, yet they often resonate with something primitive within me. I have tried photographing his brain with x-rays, it was surprisingly difficult to get good results. Dark blotches on the plates kept obscuring all details. The rot. My patient looked at the bad plates and cried out in terror, telling yep. me the dark areas was the shadow of the worm eating mm -hmm. him from inside. I could not see anything out of the ordinary. I hope this is a sign that my mind is not as receptive to the we'll madness be here, as we'll I had be safe. feared. After further inquiry, my patient described the shadows inside his mind as some kind of chthonic, chthonic. monstrosity that uh. wants to undermine his sanctuary. This is clearly a reference to a place he calls Teroea, a sort of library or convent that works as a psychological haven. With this imaginary haven threatened by this Chthonian, he has now constructed another less pleasant Threatened by this Chthonian. Lately, he has been bringing up a metaphor of a steamboat that has run aground. That he feels like he needs to start the engines and reverse. But he is afraid that the hole in the hull would cause the whole ship to sink. I've been watching him turn this metaphor into reality for the last week. He knows it's made up, but he is doubling down, trying to make it a real memory. I feel certain that this is my chance to break through the barriers of his self-deceit. Chthonian. Um, the Phoenician in, in Warhammer. The home planet his brother is from who turns the entire galaxy against itself and burns everything. His planet is called Chthonia and they are all called Chthonians. Also, this cult, by the way, it said that they indulge way too much in the nightlife and are clearly they're doing nightlife things like fucking and sucking and drugs. Um, the Phoenician, his, all of his children, their entire malady is that they engage in too much excess. Like if that if that's not almost identical, I don't know what is. The Flying Dutchman. That's cool. Jesus. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Sure. Cool. One of these days, I'm going to do a mini building stream where I just sit here and build minis on camera and talk about Warhammer lore. I'll run out of minis before I run out of lore. Okay. We're looking for the globe. Where's the globe at? Okay, we have the stairwell key, so I'm assuming we should go ahead and go there. Right. That seems to be the only green we have on the map. The clerk's office. Wait, there's another puzzle in the clerk's office? Didn't we just complete that? Oh, let me go back real quick. Yeah, the sitting room is, is where the globe is, right? Like, I know, I know where the globe is in the house. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not missing anything else really quick. This is where the map says a puzzle is, but we just completed this. Yeah. We, we just finished this already. It's just still showing us an icon here. Okay. Wanted to make sure. Uh, the next key that we have is for the stairwell, so we'll go ahead and knock that out. So we gotta go through here, into the hall, take a left, hit the stairwell. Oh, we can't, that's right, never mind. It's still locked. Or that door's actually barred. Okay, never mind. We are railroaded at this point. Okay, that's cool too. I'm just trying to make sure I'm going to the right spot. Let's do it again. See you again. Solved your case yet? I'm trying. Is this supposed hey, to be Grace, the old okay? guy who needs interaction? Oh, she is just peachy, detective. Are you looking forward to the feast of St. John, Grace? I can't wait. Kids, ain't they great? What exactly are you planning for tonight? Oh, not much. We eat, we drink. A tribute to the wishing tree in the conservatory. There's the globe. Then why all the excitement? There is just something about tonight. Something is different. I think we all feel it. Besides, we got ourselves some new words for the prayer thanks to your buddy Jeremy. She'll come and turn the world inside out. God, I hate and that kid. Will begin again. That sounds strangely threatening. You should come. I hate that kid, dude. She is so creepy. They did a good job with her. Oh, God damn it, Grace. Stay put for once. I would not be letting that man be shadowing that child everywhere she goes. He dropped the key. Nice. Better hold on to these. Wouldn't want him to this? get lost. There's something missing. Hell yeah. Map of the Caribbean. Why do we need a map of the Caribbean? Why? Oh, it, it's just like a... It's just a one, yeah, but it's not something we actually need. Okay, very interesting. Grace is drawing. I thought we had one of her drawings from earlier. We do. We, we have one of her drawings, right? This is back, for whatever reason. Full jack-in-the-box. Yeah, we actually, we have one of her drawings. Or we did. It took it from us. Because we had the one from the, the our, our partner, the, t the lady. The coffee was a deadbeat. His mere presence annoyed Conby. We were it was a like two -hour watching trip to a new the environment. worst version of himself mock him by simply being worthless. While Conby enjoyed watching the child outplay the drunkard, there was something terrifyingly familiar about Grace. It was taunting him, like he was supposed to remember, but couldn't. Okay, investigate Cassandra's room. Find Grace's missing drawing. We know we found at least one before. I don't know where it's at now, but we seem to have actually lost a lot of the items that were in our inventory. 
because we were almost down to a third row before we went to the 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 the, the Egyptian tomb, right? Movie script, Slaughter Gulch. We did hear about that a while ago because she was writing it. That's right. Yeah, we did this already. Isn't she the one who who opted out? Who committed self-redaction? Jeremy knew that the only one who could help him now was the guest in room number three. 913. The room seemed to have been empty for so long. I'm gonna skip this because I don't want her to read off all that. But since it's just giving us a code, we already know. The only reason I ask if that's the one who self-redacted is because when we, when we went in there, the girl told us that that lady would get mad if we touched any of her things, that she would get upset, right? Why would she think that if that lady was already deceased? Unless she knows something we don't know. And I'm assuming this entire thing has been done so that the main guy, Yetami, can like bring her back to life or something. Right? That's room one. We gotta go to room three. Trust me. Clue. It's a... Uh, Brother, I need you to trust me. This is the most important moment in our family's history. I know you have doubts and that the terrible Mama Loa told you lies. I would never betray you. I promise. Lottie. What's going on here? What is going on here? Nothing, okay. This is not the correct room, then. It's a creepy-ass hallway at night, dude. They did a really good job with this place in the dark. Like, actually. This is kind of perfect, because it takes us to the stairwell. So we can go ahead and open up the, uh, the lower portion of the stairwell. What's through here? Do I feel alone in the dark? Nah, not not really. This place is crawling with kooky ass people that we find around every corner. I'm still enjoying myself. I know I'm criticizing the hell out of it now, but I'm still enjoying myself. I. I like all the different things they drew inspiration from. I, I love all the different areas that I'm seeing them have cobbled their game together. You know what I mean? Like, what I'm trying to say? I enjoy all the IPs from which they drew inspiration. So I'm not upset about them using other IPs and stuff like that. Scapegoat? I just feel like they, they set up some really good bones. Jesus. Radiography notes. Patient Jeremy Hartwood. Okay, I'm not going to let it read all this. Skull proved difficult to capture properly. We know that. A complete picture of the brain can be assembled by piecing three plates together. Even when looking at an assembled version, a shadow covers significant parts of Jeremy's brain. Possible tumor, but more likely the equipment is failing. Jeremy reacted strongly to the pictures and claimed to see a giant clay worm eating and displacing his memories. While this exercise has left me nowhere closer to an answer, I will feel confident that a Burkhart lobotomy should sever all necessary parts. Finally got Jake's gifts edited into a better list. Nice. Thanks, Taro, for everything you do. Hypothetical psychosurgery based on the ideas by Burkhart and the St. Petersburg research could end up saving Jeremy's mind. Severing the connections around the frontal lobe would certainly solve most mental afflictions. The procedure would be brutal in performance as well as in efficiency. An ice pick pushed through the edge of the eye and into the skull oh, would God. untether the nerves like Alexander cutting the Gordian knot. <sighs> As this would likely leave Jeremy in a very different condition, 
All other paths should first be explored. Okay. Oh god, I hate looking at that dude. Lobotomies are terrifying. All right, there's radiograph radiograph number two. There's the key for the surgery room. We need at least one fuse. Is it literally right here? Oh, like Jesus Christ, Taro, you got your wish. Oh, we can't use it here. Oh yeah, we can. It just didn't do anything. We're gonna need like another something, I guess. Can't go that way. I really like the atmosphere we're in right now, though. Like this is dark and foreboding. I, I wish more of the game were like this. This is, this is like pretty great environmentals we're seeing right now, honestly. Surgery room key. Fuse, nice. Spare fuse. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, this game actually looks beautiful when it's dark like this. They could make it a little bit more ominous, and this game would be actually terrifying, terrifying. Okay, turn on the electricity to study the x-ray. Got it, got it. Oh, which will fuse. Um... Oh, it's one of these puzzles. I love these puzzles. Okay. Easy peasy, man. I love those puzzles. I cannot be any better at those puzzles. How do we do this? Not that one. Not that one? Oh, there we go. Rotate. Yeah, I know. I feel like Taro is being um, facetious with her. Good job, but I'm not going to say anything. I can't move this, like, up and... Oh, I really don't like this. Can I flip it? I can't flip it. Let's see. No, no. Why can't I? Why is it stuck? There we go. Taro, I swear to God. And then the bottom one, right? Like that. The control scheme for this is just ass. This should be right. Right? Mostly? Mostly. No? Oh, it is. Okay. Ooh. Key item. Gotcha. Broken piece of burned clay. Its size suggests it being a part of a statue. Well, how you appreciate help until I... That wasn't help, that was praise. You know how I feel about praise. We, it went through there already. Uh, what about this room? Did it open up? Did not, okay. Okay, let's go this way. I like when you help. I don't ever shun your help. Okay, we're in the upside down again. Is it going to start Why flooding and we have to run what up? Am I supposed to do? No way. There's no way, man. Get on my level.
go, 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 go. What? Of course we did, that's my boy. We are one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Okay. That was a cool section, I like that. And we're back here. Oh, perfect time to have a look around this place. Wait, this is the first time we've been in the attic. We are, we're above the piano right now. Can't go over there, okay. Is this Penhead's pain cube? It is not. It looks like parts of a stat, yep, Chthonian statuette. Got it. Okay. That's gonna go there. Oh man, what is with me and sneezing tonight? Sorry guys. Let's see. Got it. Okay, now we need the combination. We gotta get that. Allergies? Yeah, my allergies are killing me. I told what you my that? eyes have been killing me all day. Like, my right one in specific is like, it's been watering the entire day. I feel like it's scratchy, like I've got something in it. It was so bad it woke me up in the middle of the night last night. So yeah, it, allergies are really just hitting me right in the face. Tessellated shard. Tessellated shard. What? Is it part of a tesseract? Okay, well, at least they tied it in a legal way, because it's only got six knots instead of seven. I can't do anything. I'm trying, actually. I'm actually, like, spamming the button and it doesn't do anything. I'm assuming maybe I gotta get a chair? Like, one of the mini over here? I'm sorry, you're lagging, Taro. How far behind us were you? Yeah, I actually can't do anything with it at all. There's chairs everywhere. Oh, we can go this way. Uh, we don't want to go that way. Let's do... Let's open this up. Maybe half second lag. That's not bad. Alright. Nope. Not what I was trying to do. Nope. Go back. Uh, no. Why, why is it doing that? Oh, archive. That's what it is. Okay. Let's see. Do we have any other numbers? Or am I missing something? Yeah, three plates of shadow, yada, 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 yada. Anybody got any idea what this number is going to be? Cassandra's last page. We know that, the 913. Dagger doesn't have anything on it to read. Jeremy's treatment, x-ray, yeah, we did that. We found that out. We got the puzzle piece, right? Right. Let's see. No, I don't think there's anything else in here to help us out. Unfortunate. About two minutes behind. Oh, I'm so sorry, Taro. I wish I could make it not do that. But I do have the stream set on ultra low latency, like the, the best latency we can get. All right, time to get Jeremy out of that contract so we can get the hell out of here. Something tells me I'm going to have to put my talisman to use. I am so dumb. Really, dude? Four, is that a nine? I, 
I didn't even look, man. I didn't even look. I'm gonna assume it's four six one. So we're gonna try that. Okay. Come on. Four six one. No. Okay. Not four six one. Let's do four one six. Nope. Six four one. Six four one. Nice. Okay, the noose. Yep. Oh shit. <gasps> Everything's changed. But we have a legal noose though. It has less than, than seven knots in it. Unless they changed it again. Oh, is this We're in the Flying Dutchman. Jeremy? I need help! Wait, can you hear me? I'm stuck in the mud and the fire is taking Jeremy, me. where are you? The motor is dead. I can't do anything more. Hang on, Jeremy. I'll figure something out. I'll get the boat running. Is he the boat? Let's, let's hear this investigation. Jeremy was calling out for help, but Combi couldn't figure out where the voice was coming from. For a moment, Combi wondered if the boat itself was Jeremy, or if he was below it somehow. It didn't matter right now. Jeremy was clear on one thing. He wanted Combi to get the steamboat running and out of the mud. Oh, I'm sorry, Taro. And empty. I did. I just asked, is he the boat? Because he said that he's stuck in the water and the mud is taking him in the bayou and he needs to get out of here. Uh, that leads me to believe he is the actual boat itself. Through deductive reasoning. Not only am I going to say it, I'm going to say it with my whole chest. So the Flying Dutchman is just some shitty dilapidated boat. Uh, it appears to be that way. Jesus! What the fuck is it? Ugh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's so wriggly. It's still pulsing. It's so wriggly. Brother, no. Ew. Ew. I don't want to jump down yet. Can we go across here? Of course not. That'd be too easy. I, I swear to God, he's going to be the boat. Is, is anyone wanting to fight me over this? Like, do you think he's not going to be the boat? The boat's wedged itself right into the bayou. Mm -hmm. If mm -hmm. I get the motor started, I could try reversing back into the river. Is anyone going to fight me on Jeremy being the boat? I just want to know. This thing's been sitting so long, it's got literal trees growing on it. That's insane. Isn't it beautiful, though? Like, look at this environment, man. This is cool as hell. I love this. They did such a good job visually. Is that a... No. The note you read suggested the same thing. It was like, Carnby might think he's the boat. No, we'll let you have this one. I'm basing it off of the all the other IPs that on which they are drawing, because when the Phoenician, when Fulgrim was pulled into the painting, he reached out telepathically to try to get someone to help him. 
and that's exactly what this fucking feels like. jump down here but I don't want to yet. We're gonna make sure we've done everything. Looked around. There's an escape boat here. Is there anything on it we can use? We can release it. I don't think we should yet though. Is that not just the Walmart symbol? If it were yellow? Like actually? Let's go in here. No. Really? Ain't no way, man. Ain't no way he just did that. We have two rounds left. In total. The safe was empty. You gotta be kidding me. What is that in there? Nothing, just a speck of blood, I guess. How is the safe empty? This environment's still gorgeous, though. Like, I can't... I, I can't pump them up enough for, like, how good of a world they built. Almost Walmart logo. Sharper edges. Okay, okay, fair. Sharper edges, but tell me that's not very similar. Oh, let's go in here. Please give me some ammo. Yes. Please give ammo. Can I please have ammo? Hatchet. Nice. Nice. Can I can I cut these down? Or can I glitch through them? Because me. Let's try to melee it. No, okay. I had to check because you think handing you a hatchet directly in front of vines would would cause something like that I see why it's pretty weak I just I stand corrected I don't want to jump down yet I gotta make sure we explored everything back here and then we'll go jump down we have three areas to jump down we have the center we have the center we have the life raft and we have I'm, I'm gonna assume this is like part of one of the engines and our objective is to restart the engine, so I guess we'll do that one. Nothing else back here. No ammo, no collectibles. Looks clear. Okay, all right. Let's go jump down into what I assume is one of the... Just based on the housing here. And... Are you... really? You made me climb that two feet, like actually manually hit the button? Okay, that's cute. Come on. There you go, big boy. Alright. We've lost all the actual ambience. I don't like that. Absolutely the engine. Empty gas can. We clearly need that. He's getting tired. Daddy Hop has been tired since we started this thing. Yep. That seems slightly unnecessary. Is this the reserve fuel tank? No way. Okay. Filled gas can. I'll take that. What is this? Two things to open and no loot. Damn, that's tough luck. A third open and no loot. That is really tough luck. Okay, okay. That's fine. Working on a shoestring budget. I got you. The world's smallest fuel can, by the way.
can't interact with anything else. I guess we gotta go back the way we came? There's no other doors, so... Can we go... no. Can we go back up? Okay, we can treat it like a ladder. Okay, that's good design. Supplies, ammo, where we're going, Marty, we don't need them. Welcome back, Critical. What'd you get at the store? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, they're everywhere. Do we... Uh, lifeboat. Lifeboat. Oh, Bell? Let's do the lifeboat. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's going so slowly. <laughs> Why? No. Oh, this thing is stuck, stuck. Okay, I see. I see at least one zombified prick. A soda and cigs. A soda? Not a pop, but a soda. Tell me, my friend, what kind of soda did you get? I don't want to have to fight this guy. I want to run right past him. It actually set him on fire. Aerith was right. I'm so sorry for doubting you. Nice. Hell yeah. Dr. Bepper crowd, stand up and shout. We love Dr. Bepper here. Yeah, it did put me on fire when I ran through it. Double captions, love that. It looks like that Pokemon Ammonite. If you gave it legs, I'm the catalyst. I had to die to make the story. What are you referring to, Jerry? Thirty years ago, Frederick needed me to die. You're not making any sense, Jerry. It had his hat. It had his hat. Find your focus. It I, had it. I cheated everyone. I didn't play my part. Hey! I escaped hey. my doom. My destiny. I did. Fine. Hey, focus. Hey, I'm right here. What the hell is going on? Oh, everything is wrong. Nothing is in hey. play. Hey! I'm right here! Calm down, Mr. Conby. Sorry, guys. What do you want? Mic. Did... Were you... Were you not talking to Jeremy right now? I haven't seen Jeremy all day. Are you all right, Detective? I forgot no, about this prick, man. Actually, actually, I don't... I don't think so. Well, maybe. I'm gonna go look for Jeremy. Good. Let me know if you find him. His voice doesn't fit his face or body. He sounds like... He sounds like he... The, the voice sounds like it could that voice the Jeremy actual Joker. Deceit, a steamboat stuck in the mud? I'm not gonna pretend I understand any of that. What a bunch of psychoanalytic nonsense. Did you guys know that you can call yourself a psychoanalyst in pretty much any state with no degree or certifications? Let's see. 
Let's check our map. The fish last night. Oh yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. We beat the game with like four fish and a beetle and a and a viper in our inventory. Truly a goaded playthrough. No. Not this dick. It has to stop. I really want to shoot. Stop. I really want to shoot, but I also don't want to die for the first time in this game. Kern beat his head. is like, rub with the fish. Yeah, I, I needed to get out with the fish. I wish I wouldn't have eaten that first fish, so this I could have gotten out with five. I belong here. Yeah, the, uh, the twist is we've been a patient this entire time, isn't it? I know that number. Where's that from? 196 blank blank this. blank LA. You should come. I can't believe I didn't I recognize God. you. Is any of this real? Our village also has fish? No way, Emma. We're gonna collect so many fucking fish. I right. know the combination. I carry it with me. We're talking all slow and shit. Did we get drugged the second we got here? Was that first drink drugging us, or we have we been a patient this entire time? Is it the 196? Examine the objects in your inventory. Okay, hold on. If all else fails, Doc, no, no, back up. No, we know this one. This is our license right here. So it's 196, it's 692 is gonna be the numbers. Got it. So we go left first, right? So six, nine, and then go down to two. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. I don't know how to say that. Picayne, picayune. Old coin from the time when Louisiana was a Spanish colony. Look for the girl. Detective, I have made many discoveries in my case. The child we want is safe. Thanks to good people like me and you. We are so similar, but you don't see all the things I do. McCarthy. To find your man, Jeremy, you also need to look for the girl. It has always been that way. The young deliver us all. You should have a look in my room. Oh, God. There's a piece of the puzzle you will need. You will Take need. Take care now. McCoffee. <laughs> I love the casual. Take care now. McCoffee. How long have I been here? Ashes of Indigo. We've completed seven of 15 sets without even like actually looking for additional items, by the way. I recognize this view. Wait, Emma, we need the fish to upgrade our character? Oh, that that's cruel, man. Is Village gonna have seen all goth chicks and chokers though? Because that's kind of the real, the real way to sell me on a game. I don't want to go in here. This doesn't look good. Also, I'd like to point out that our room was also the room of the lady that self-terminated. Interesting. Alright, uh, his room, I think it's this one. It is completely different now. Oop, what is that? Three pistol bullets? I don't think so. Also, it's first person. I like first person better in horror. I think third person removes almost all the horror from a game. It gives you more ability to see what's going on around you, therefore giving you more control and more ability to react in time. I like first person better, so. Cannon is Carnby, is ex-Marine, has a TMI and PTSD from war. This is his first case. Okay. I did already call in the PTSD earlier. I just thought it was for different characters. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool. All right. Shotgun shell. Is this not the correct room? I guess since everything changed, no. So 
surprisingly neat. Maybe I've been selling that old barfly short. Let's see. Looks like McCarthy has something hidden inside. You fully support this game just based off Hopper. I love Hopper. This is Daddy Hopper. The missing picture. And it looks just like a fucking drawing from Stranger Things. <laughs> God. Why would McCarthy lock this up? Was he trying to keep Grace from completing the shame? If so, couldn't she have just made another drawing? Let's see. I thought I could interact with something over here and it disappeared when the monologue came up, but I guess not. Maybe I missed out on it. That's not as cool as mine. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't like that a minute ago. Let's switch what to the, the shotgun. In here? We're back in the swamp. Grab that. New shovel. <laughs> Got his ass. Grab this. Four shotgun shells. Nice. Another melee weapon. Okay. They, they're they preparing us for some actual combat. Reload, reload. Hmm. Where to go, where to go, where to go? Oh my god, all the statues moved and they're everywhere. Hatchet. They're all over the wall. <laughs> no, okay, man, I absolutely cannot. Bugs love me. They, they, they love me in games. They love me as glitches. Four more shotgun shells. Hey, I, I wonder if I can wake them up. Oh, I really don't want to, though. Oh, no. Oh? Hold up. Hold up. Oh, no, that's one of the... Never mind, I got its heal. Then let's grab this one. Full health. I was hoping it was one of the Molotov bottles. I was going to chuck it and see if it set them all on fire. Clearly a terrible idea, but I'm also left unsupervised. Grab a new hatchet, if we can. Make sure the bugs don't jump in front of you. Yeah, I, I talked about that a moment ago. Let's see. The kids' room. Again. We found a drawing. Right? Do these go in a certain order, I'm assuming? Or are we missing one? Because we've had to complete all of these until now. A great stream drunk dead space. <laughs> it, it's on the horizon. It is. I gotta wait until it actually goes on sale. Until I get it. Because I just don't want to pay that full price for a, a, a remade game that's over 10 years old, unfortunately. I'm gonna throw a Molotov random bug. Get down, Mr. President. Pretty much. Can we... We can rotate it. Right. I'm assuming that the little... Let's see. Grab this. Let's see. I'm assuming that the tentacles that are on the page have something to do with where the page is actually... Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. I'm assuming this one's going to go here, but we're going to rotate it upside down. Nah, it's a little off. That one's still off. Okay. Let's see, man. The tree's perfect. This one may be okay. This one looks okay. This one... This one might go at the top. It does. This one's going to go... 
right here. I think the middle left is correct already. Yeah, because that's fine. That one's not fine. Uh, she goes here. She goes top. Like that. Yeah. And then grab this one. That's pretty close, but it's not entirely accurate. I think this one gets moved. But I'm not sure where. And this one gets turned like that. Yeah, see, this one's got to get moved too. Where does it go? Top's good. Top left is good. Top right's good. Middle right, perfect. Middle left, perfect. Bottom left, maybe, gets moved? Maybe bottom left and bottom right switch places? Yes. Or not. Okay. That one looks good there. Do these two need to switch? No, absolutely not. I've definitely got two of these messed up, but I'm not sure how. What about this one? Oh, that is a three-piece. Okay, it's going to be these two then. Yeah, I didn't even try to mess around with it, did I? That tree's perfect. This one's still not right. Like that? That that looks accurate. The bottom's not right though. No, bottom goes here. So where does this one go? Is that one good? That one's not good. Okay. I messed it up a little bit, but we got it in the end. I don't know why it shows us these, because it just opens the portal right where we're at. It's not like we gotta go to that area. Yeah, literally right outside. Okay. Find the couch and sleep on it. I wish it was like that. Like, I'll be real with you. I wish it was like that, but instead it shows us, like, the place we're already at and then opens the portal for whatever reason. It would make more sense to show us a portal in an area we're not already at and have oh, us walk so to it. How am I back at the office? Jeremy's never been here. Ammo key. Writing disc key. That's, that's me. The, that's the exact same it's thing me. I said, buddy. That is us. How long have it been since I drowned myself in drinking depression? It all felt so peaceful, slipping away into oblivion. Uh, about two a days. Dark voice wrapped around my mind like a heavy blanket. I turned said off coming down. I woke up from the sound <laughs> of my office door closing shut. On a couch. The had left a telegram from Mrs. Saunders. She had a lead on where to find her husband and her kidnapped daughter. Telegram. My husband has returned to steal one of my our most valuable paintings. I'm sure he means to sell it. If you hurry, I'm sure you can track him down. Gabriella. Saunders. Critical, you need to be more, uh, you need to hop in the Discord more often. You need to hang out with us. God, I used to drink so much back then. When was this exactly? What case was I working? I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. Been loving seeing you in the streams lately. Emma too, man. You need to figure out how to use Discord? No worries. Even I don't know how to use it sometimes. Let's see. The Discord's cool, man. We talk about uh, upcoming games, what we're going to do. Community stuff. I hang out in there after streams in the in the voice chat and play games with people sometimes. Mm, I don't see anything else in here. Yeah, okay. So we're back through here. Oh, I didn't see this. 
And it's just ammo anyways. Let's reload some weapons real quick. Nope, 20 round mag is max. That's reloaded. That's, nope, we need to reload this. Okay, and then our little criminal minds board right here. Carnby's case. Put the telegram on the wall. Are we missing... Are we missing one? Can you find another document, I'm assuming? Hmm. I don't see anything to interact with. Can we go through here now? No. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. Taro, any ideas? I don't see... It looks like we need another... Another something to go there, right? Or at least be able to, like, move the little red yarn between them. But it's not letting me do anything. Let's see. Still can't go through there. Nothing on that cork board. Nothing we can grab on that cork board. Safe is not interactable. Don't need the pictures. Can't use the chest. There's a box up there that's latched. I can't interact with it. I'm not seeing anything I can work with. Like, actually, hold up a minute. I'm, like, kind of lost here. Let's open this up. Let's check it our objectives. was back in the French Quarter. His office, to be exact. A place Jeremy had certainly never seen. It could only mean that the dark man had reached inside Edward's mind and conjured this place for him to suffer. I think that's how we take, how we like save him is taking his place, right? Seriously. I think I need to figure out where I'm going first. I have nothing to interact with. Does anyone have anything to, does anyone have any ideas? Ooh, okay, it just randomly let me grab something. Never mind. Philanthropist Teddy Saunders goes mad, kidnaps child. Theodore Saunders, December 23rd, 1928. Okay. That was weird. I couldn't see that. I just was running around spamming E, dude. Okay, is there another piece somewhere? I'm literally grabbing things that it's not highlighting. I'm literally just spamming E. Alright. As Hey, as long as it works, it works. Oh. I thought I saw something over here. Okay. Got that. We're gonna uh, turn over. Check out Thornhill. I remember this case. That was interesting. Some kid got taken by her father, headed out of state, but he had made a mistake by selling a painting that his wife actually cared about to a collector named Thornhill to fund his venture. That's how I tracked him down. At least I think so. Pay Thornhill the artist a visit. Okay. We just got a bunch of more ammo and stuff, so I'm assuming... Yep, more ammo, more health. We're going to be going into some combat here soon. The, these, the little red yarn line, like, materializing and moving with us is pretty cool, though. I gotta say. Let's grab this. And then, let's hit the first enemy we see with it. Because I hear one to my right. Checking the left first, though. Always check your corners. Thought I heard one. Is he not right over there? What is that? No, okay, I don't know what that is then. Never mind. I guess I didn't hear anything. Check. I I wanna. Why doesn't this do anything? Okay, we're gonna have to go up and around. Got it. I see the layout already. Go through here, break this down. Thornhill wasn't a bad man, but he had principles keeping him from handing out information about his deals. Come on. So needed some convincing. Thank you. 
can we steal? Oh, every case can't be squeaky clean. We're full of shotgun shells. You can only hold ten? No. Oh, that sucks. This is as fast as we can go upstairs, by the way. <laughs> Mr. Saunders had sold a valuable painting to Thornton, hoping the money would carry him to wherever he was going. The painting, now leaning on the easel in Thornhill's bedroom, had a certain mesmerizing gloom that seemed to call out to me, telling me I was needed for something important. I felt myself falling into the painting. What? Only being brought back by Thornhill, thrusting an address to a Hotel St. George into my hand, and asking yes. me to get the hell out. Yes, he does, caveman. That's exactly what he means. I Can I... I can't say it didn't happen. I like the- Oh, fuck! Not today, Satan! Well, shotgun. Pistol bullets. Two mags. Two pistol mags. We're good. We go out here, we already saw the ladder, so we know we dropped down here. Oh! That's great design. I can interact with the bottle that is on the car, a full story below me. Perfect. And it did not catch on fire. Is that thing alive? You don't light it in this game. You just throw it and hope it catches fire. I'm not kidding. And it's not dead. Nice. Okay, let's hop down. Yeah, I spent the first, like, four hours of this game like, not using any of the throwing mechanics because they were pointless. And then I found out you have to hold the button when you pick them up to then walk very slowly, and then maybe it lights when you throw it at an enemy, but you can't be certain. So, like, there's another one right here. Well, that's a brick, actually, so clearly this one won't light. It will, I guess, just do damage. Try to hit this guy right here. Come on. And it missed. Love that. Reload. Three shots. Reload. Nice. Is that another brick? It is. Throws the brick, brick blows up and covers the area in napalm. I would cry, my dude. That would be awesome. I gotta go that way, so let's go see what's over here. Rule 101, you never go the direction it wants you to go immediately. Okay. And there's two of them. We had full shotgun ammo, I kid you not, three minutes ago, and we now have zero bullets. If I jump in the Discord after the stream, you guys help me understand it? Yeah, sure. Let's see. I think Taro and Caveman are in the Discord right now already. Thing how they hang out in the voice chat a lot. How did you hit the wall while point blank? I have no idea. I've had some pretty embarrassing Can't misses tonight. Way. Usually my accuracy is pretty good. Shotgun shells. Ring the bell. 500 times for an achievement. I'm kidding. 
What can I say? Older women have an interesting sort of charm. Okay. Got a hatchet. Grab this. Used it all up on RE4. Maybe. This feels like a boss arena, right? Yeah, anybody who stops in and brings some cool vibes is part of the family. We're just happy to have you here. On my way to the hotel, the Morgan gang caught up. I owed them money. A lot of them. I can't remember what for. Probably some dumb gambling debt growing in size for each payment missed. I punched one of them out. And I sent the others packing. Just take them back. Just like sand people. Jesus Christ, mud puppy! Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. Yeah, caveman's not entirely wrong there. There we go. That one caught on fire. Beautiful, huh, guys? More shotgun. More machine gun. Okay, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Immediately clip the pole. is down now. I wish. I love that these two idiots are clipped on each other. But I will say this is the first time we've seen an AI error in this game. The cult of savage will make a blood sacrifice to our god this this Sunday. Uh, also true. Yeah. Also true. I don't want to walk past these guys. Oh, these are the beefy boys with the tentacle arm. Never mind. I see why now. Nice. Can I be the blood sacrifice? Only if you're over 18. We don't sacrifice children. You can't even join the sacrifice channel if you're not over 18, so. Nice, nice. Go, 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 go. Hit the bell. Go. Okay. He, 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 much like a vampire, cannot come in our house without us telling him. That's wonderful. Curious. <laughs> curious George, look out. You got, you got someone gunning for your, for your spot. The curious napkin. I love that. I love it so much. The left row becomes busting in the door. That would have been really funny. Hotel bill. Okay. Single room, dinner, telegram. Single room, 1025 for the night. 150 for dinner. Oh, God, I wish. I found him. In the hotel ledger, I recognized the handwriting, the signature, Ted Strength. It was him. I could feel it. It was the kidnapper I was hunting. I put on my knuckles and hurried up to his room. Put on my knuckles. Boy, bro, I've had to get the dusters out, right? I that name, Ted Stryker, rings a bell. It feels vaguely familiar. 
Backs off, lets you close the door, breaks it down. <laughs> Honey, I'm home. Here's Johnny. Clearly this one. The giant red umbilical cord really uh, tells us where to go. Ooh, lag and stutter. Oof. I recognize it. Business card. David Thornhill's business card. But I didn't catch up with them here. I must have followed them. But where? Knuckle dusters would be pretty cool in this game. I, I'm kind of surprised we didn't get to see them. We're like beating people with pipes and shit, which is just weird. DeWitt. Why does that sound familiar? I think it's used in a lot of things. It's just familiar because it's everywhere. Hotel bill, business card, telephone directory. Okay. Be careful for your GP your GPU ends in the ICU. Yeah, you're you're telling me, dude. Currently currently my graphics card running this game is running at 42 degrees Celsius, which is so much better than the 100 degrees Celsius it was at when I loaded it. Turnover. Switch those out. Let's look at this one. Good old Tennessee. Home sweet home. DeWitt, contact Miss Robin. $300 a year. $350 for the Kingsport painting. I'm, I'm thinking of uh, Bioshock, the third one, right? Mr. DeWitt? Isn't that the main character? Where are these supposed to go? Why are these like... What am I supposed to do with this? I can't put it anywhere like... I don't know. We got that already. And then we know this one already. What am I doing here? This doesn't make any sense to me. Right? No, no. Well, in Bioshock, yeah, technically. In Bioshock, the main character... Isn't his name Tucker DeWitt? Or something like that? Is it Tucker? Am I having a, a seizure or a stroke? I don't know. Is there another one of these I gotta put in here? Is there another piece to this puzzle? Because I am not sure what to do here. Mississippi River. There was another door. Let's try the other door in the hallway real quick, right? Down here. Housekeeping. 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 They're not going to let us in. That's fine. Nothing to grab. Taro, I need your help. Or anyone, for that matter. I don't know what the hell to do with this. This doesn't even feel like a puzzle, man. We can hit E. We can move it. We can flip it over. And that's it. Nothing else. That's right. He was running away, ditching his old life and marriage in New okay. Orleans to Never find mind. something better in Tallahassee. That and he took his daughter with him against the will of the mother. That's why she hired me. But I stopped him. I caught up with him at the Pearl River Bridge. That was terrible. That was the worst puzzle we've done yet because it just did not make sense. Oh, Pearl River. This is where I caught up with them. This is what the dark man wanted me to revisit. But I'm still not seeing it. What am I forgetting? Hey, caveman, I bet if I use my dark sight, Scrap Beak's going to be over that way. What do you think? Over that way. Let's go this way. Are we gonna get the zip line again? No, that's not a taut line. Let's grab that. No, we can't break that one. Now he'll be in the house next to it. That's fair. That way to go, that way to, all right, we're going to go this way first, because this doesn't look like the way we're actually supposed to go, and I want to collect anything I can collect. Q, 
Okay, grab that, that. What is this? It, it's an actual, like, entire chandelier, pretty much. Okay. Woo, he tried, baby, he tried. God, he almost scared me. If you didn't make that stupid ass gurgling noise when he spawned in, he would have actually like scared me, scared me. Let's see. Fog wall that way, so let's go this way. Actually, let's see what's over here real quick. This is a, a jump down back to where we just were. Where the hatchet is. We're not gonna do that. This tells me we may be running away from something on this bridge, though, and I don't like that. Oh no. It was her all along. This little bitch again. I hate this girl, dude. I can't believe I didn't recognize her. I looked a little different back then, I suppose. Was any of this real? How do you mean? This day, just... So much is happening. I can't... I think I've lost my head. Do you need me to apologize? I mean... Kick her in the river? I wish, man. I am sorry. I don't think I need to begin to explain. You, you're just a kid, Grace. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean for it to happen. Lies. More lies. No, really. I thought I was being a good guy by handing you over to your mother. I didn't know. I, did, I couldn't have known that she wouldn't care about you. Oh, dang. I don't know how this works. What is this for? Some form of admission of guilt. Maybe acceptance. It's what the dark man wants. I guess we just watch my father die again then. You think Jesus. he's alive? I know he is. He's down there, scared that he won't be able to get out. That he will drown with his daughter again. What are you saying? We gotta save him. We? Do it yourself. I'm down there with him, remember? Jesus, man. What is with the... the mind... mind fucking that's really going on? Save them. This all happened so long ago. Find a way to raise the bridge. To get down there. I have what? to see it with my own eyes. Why would we raise the bridge? There was a boat at the house where I entered. If I can raise the bridge, I should be able to get to the car. Okay. There must be a way to save you both, right? Why else would I be here? Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. When you suffer. All right. So we're going to raise the bridge and get to a boat. Understood. Something that way. Can't go that way. Something up here. I'm assuming we're going to have to go off that beaten path back there. And then do something up here. That is a long way up. Do we have to go up all the way? I can't really blame her too much because we did get her killed. So she, she she's got us there. Let's go through here. What do we got? Healing. We're actually Yeah, we'll heal a little bit. This right. must be where the bridge is operated. Nothing here. Okay. Let's do this. Nice. It's happening. It's like something's holding it back. Okay. Oh my god. It's like, look at the, the texture glitching. Oh my god. That's terrible looking. Okay, we got that one. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot it with a shotgun. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Mm. 
No. Yes, he hit the bat. Nice, we meleeed a bat. Oh my god, okay. Can we just run? We can't go back down over there. There's a lot of them, holy shit. Uh, we can go down here though, I think. Oh god. Come on, come on, come on. Pilot the boat by the house to the sinking car. Okay. Go, 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 go. Nice. I think we may have gotten away success. Nope, never mind. Got that one. Jump, jump, jump. Nice. Okay. Oh no, my puppies! My puppies! Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. They are chasing us though. They they do be do be doing that. I don't even know if I'm running in the right direction, man. Where was that boat at? 24 hour stream. Not today. Grab a new hatchet real quick. There's the boat. This game makes you want to drink. Same. I haven't eaten anything or I'd, or I'd take a shot. I've not eaten all day, pretty much. I wanted to get the pie with the boat, but I guess we can't do that. down to do a 24 hour stream at some point. We just gotta find something like really interesting to do. Why would you open the door? Wouldn't it sink faster? We're just in the bathtub. We're just in the bathtub. Oh my god, Carnby. Are you okay? We're taking a bath. Don't leave me alone. <laughs> what the hell have you been doing? What's going on here? Look at this mess! I, I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Thompson. Don't make me kick you out of this house! Now get out! I still hate that lady, dude. What purpose does she serve other than being a pain in my ass? Hey. Detective, Mr. Carnby, I'm really worried about you. I'm okay. I just need to catch my breath for a moment. This place, it's... There are some very disturbed figures around here, and I don't think it's just the patients. I've been reading some things about how Dorsetto has a deranging effect on people. I think it might explain... things. Keep drinking what? and sleeping in the bath. Just take it easy, okay? You get a forever nap if you do that. I'm gonna apartment. I want to know what he's hiding. Emily, don't worry. I think I'm close. I'm gonna set everything right. Just be careful. Okay. Pay Dr. Gray a visit in his apartment. Clearly lovers, they don't know each other, dude. She's my client. She paid me to come here and help her figure out what happened to her uncle, who's the main, like, focus of the story. But every time I see them, I, I feel like they should be partners. Oh, my favorite hallway.
that door just opened itself. Not this way. Oh, it is. Okay. Detective, am I glad to see you? Lock the door, will you? I don't think Dr. Gray would appreciate us snooping around. This is tactical reconnaissance. What's going on here? Not snoop. We don't snoop on this, this channel. So strange. Oh, now it's a fixed camera, like I'm playing like a old school game. Okay. All right. Well, clearly, this book. Good. Ooh. Myth of the Golden Fleece. That's a good myth. I was gonna go there. The uncle's heart gave out while enjoying the company of a woman forty years younger just than him. Rearranging the books. Well, come on, let's check it out. Throwback to the original. I believe it. I like it. I like when games do this. The noir music. The nice smooth jazz. I like it too. I've said it from the beginning, man. Their audio has been top notch. Toy Talisman. Their audio, their music, all of it has been 10 out of 10. The visuals have been 10 out of 10. We've experienced minor bugs. Like, technically, this game is phenomenal. I think I'm beginning to understand. Dr. Gray is dealing with some kind of mass delusion. Hmm. Let's go back. I missed something in this area. We walked right past it. Play the original Prince of Persia? How old is that game? Furniture key. Grab that. Come on, I'm hitting the button. Huh. Has that been there this whole time? Nothing over here. 2005 release? Jeez. Almost 20 years. What kind of game is that? Isn't it like a action what hack and slash kind of game? Dorsetto seems to have a deranging effect on people living close by. It has a history of creating cults devoted to some nature goddess. Yep. Even the name Dorsetto refers to the cult existing here before the Civil War. Dorsetto was the name of an ancient fertility goddess worshipped in Syria. Dr. Gray and his friends, however, seem to prefer... The Black Goat of the Woods with a Thousand Young, or Shubnigroth. Yep. And that name can only have come from my uncle's twisted mind. Assassin's Creed before Assassin's Creed? I'd have to look at it. I'd have to check it out. I know of the series. Good to finally meet you, Mr. Hartwood. I'm here on the behalf of your brother, Philip. You were expecting me, weren't you? Yes. You're from Desierto, no? That's right. I just wanted to ask you a few questions to see if there is anything I can do to help you and your family. Okay. I understand you're full of imagination. You make up a lot of things. I suppose. And you obsess over them, blurring reality and fiction. Sometimes. Do you want to tell me about the Dark Man? No. No, I, I don't. That's all right. Perhaps there is something else you can tell me. Something you know to be made up, but you hold dear. Juan? John? Who's John? No, Juan Luis Jorge. Wait there a moment. Here, take a look. Is he? Oh, he is the author. Jeremy's distressed voice actor sounds so good. It's a magnificent book. Life-changing even. The real Juan is long dead, but I like to think of him as my, my friend. My most beloved friend. I see. Do you often do this? Fantasize about people you read about? I don't like the doctor. No. No. Well, there is Jacob. Who is Jacob? Turn to the last page. Oh, it's a newspaper article. The Prisoner of Ice, Jacob Van Ostart. Is he also your beloved friend? Respectable 12 oh, years no, old. Doctor. Okay, we'll look at it. Not at all. He is the fire that fights fire. Yes, I think it's clear your overstimulated imagination, this mania, needs to be tempered for you to live a normal life. 
I know your family calls it the Heartwood Curse, but I want you to know that there is nothing supernatural about your condition. It's all inside your head. And with that, I'm very qualified to deal with. In time, you will be cured. In time, in time. Yes, in time we will exercise all your demons, all the dark men. Yeah! Please, what a terrible Mr. Scream. Hartwood, calm yourself. What a what terrible happened? scream. Oh, don't you worry your little head about it, Miss Hartwood. Your uncle and I just had our first breakthrough. Like a Wilhelm scream who made the doctor into a priest. That mark on the floor looks like talisman positions, but from which direction should I look at it? Let's grab this, the snake, the dagger. snake dagger. Oh God, in dude. By Yael Klein. In Ludwig Prinz's book on pagan rituals called Jesus. The Mystery of the Grave, as translated by Nicholas Vahi, there are several references to a sacrificial dagger called the snake dagger. It has long been thought of as a poor translation of the original text that it would be more appropriate with worm dagger from the Latin vermis cultrum. This seems natural following the recent consensus that the original title of Prince book, the vermis mysteris, should literally translate to the mystery of the worm. However, this would take away from Vahi's great effort at translating the underlying meaning of the words and revealing several cultural beliefs. While Prince certainly was using the term worm as a symbol or synecdoche for death and the synecdoche. dead, which is made clear by the contents of the book, in the case of the dagger, we shouldn't be too hasty to dismiss that's a, his translation. That's a word I don't know. Reading synecdoche. through Vahi's correspondence with his patron, it appears that he had more than just the Latin text at his disposal. Vahi had dug up Prince's living relatives and uncovered several cross-referenced historical texts and an actual snake dagger. The dagger was dated to the early Middle Kingdom of Egypt and had such a clear shape of a wave that Vahi considered calling it the sinusoidal blade. Knowing the full story, it seems prudent that he chose to translate it as snake and not worm. There are several reasons why this choice of word helps us understand the pagans that Prin's book attempts to describe. The symbolic value of the shape becomes more apparent when reading about the use for the dagger. In the passage of possession and exorcism, we find the snake dagger poisons the poisoner within the victim and is therefore pacified. Where the literal text would tell us that the worm dagger trumps the demon possessing the victim, it tells us nothing of their reasoning. Only that somehow this dagger wins against the demon, like it had the better hand in poker. Vahi's translation allows us to follow the underlying logic to the ritual magic that is being performed. <laughs> Just Poison have a thumb. the poisoner. Sounds like fighting fire with fire. That to hurt the demon possessing its victim, the priests would have to fight back with a power that is known to the evil they are fighting. The snake dagger is therefore not only a good way to describe Caveman. its form, but it also helps us understand how it could be thought of as a useful tool for exorcism. Caveman. Finally, it also helps us understand their relationship to lunacy. That it was thought of as something poisoning the mind rather than controlling it. Caveman. What is also interesting to note is that the possessed are always considered poisoned in their head okay. and not their heart. Okay. The snake dagger always went to the eye of the possessed, leaving them partially blind if they had the good luck to survive. We have a snake dagger, a snake dagger that is used by a cult, a cult that is named after a Phoenician, and you know that word, a Phoenician fertility god whose cult indulges in excess and someone gets trapped in inanimate objects and there are things of Chthonian ritual as well they should have just called this dagger the anatheme that's where I'm going with it
phone's ringing. The Phoenician cult dabbles in excess. Drugs, blood, sex, and rock and roll. Hello? Detective can't be. Who is this? Jeremy? Jeremy is with the dark man. You can't save him. Well, we know this guy. We've heard his voice. So far, and there's just one more thing on the list. I expect him to keep his promise and return Jeremy unharmed. Get out, detective. While you still can. The most recent iteration of the cult, caveman, were called the Astarte Artists. Ooh, something just exploded. Has anyone ever been to Bucky's? Yes, I love Bucky's. Okay, we got a cipher here to do. Actually, Emma, Bucky's. All right, we need the numbers to get out of here. Nope, nope. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. The Phoenician's Legion. It's all about excess. How do I look at this? Anathame is a ceremonial deck. Yes. Yes, it is. Related to a snake cult. Or it is a snake dagger, just like the one in this game. And since they've pulled everything else from Warhammer, I figured they could at least just go one for the one straight on the nose and use the same fucking name that they used. It, it, the anatheme is the dagger with which they used to banish demons in Warhammer, and this banishes demons while also poisoning the wielder. It's, it's a straight up one for one rip. They could have at least used the name. That's all I was getting at. Let's see. You think all of them are in this cult business? Even Jeremy? I'm not sure any of them have a choice at this point. We just need to find a way to stop all of this. Okay, how do we get this number? I can't move. I'm stuck. They're literally... Let's see. I don't know... I don't know how to decipher this one. I don't have anything to work with, man. Okay, let's go over here and do this again, right? This is what athames are often used for in supernatural stories. Yeah. I'll check it out in a second, Martin. Do we just do these all in order on this one? Okay, how do we figure this one out? Hold on, let me check. What do we got here? Snake dagger monograph. Nothing here to work with. There's no numbers, right? Maybe have it matched the floor burnt in. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. We don't. I'm, we don't have any documents on us to change it, right? Reminds you of the dragon claw doors. Yeah, we we don't have any drawings that we can match it to. That was what I was going for first. All right, let's check it again real quick. Oh my god. Every time I go through, it switches the controls. Okay. All I know is that the top arrow is pointing down, the middle arrow is pointing up, and the, the other arrow is pointing up. So let's, let's try that. Top arrow down, other arrows up. And then if that's not right, we turn the whole thing upside down. All right, so... Do, do this one. So the top arrow is pointing down, and the other ones need to point up. Nice! That wasn't bad at all. It shows us the chest right there. We also hear the doorway opened up. Cutscene. You okay? You look a little frazzled. 
Just there it is. Stupid telephone. I know. I tried calling the police earlier. The telephone is completely dead. It's no. Yeah, no, the telephone isn't working. Yeah, I did actually get to use the bottles to set some stuff on fire earlier. It worked a couple of times, but not every time. Oh, oh my God. Miss Hartwood, I think you're going to want to see this. What a glitch, dude. Is there something in the closet? Yeah, there is. You don't see the very obvious gate leading to whatever Jeremy's madness is serving up next? I don't understand. Are you making some kind of fashion metaphor? I'm sorry, I don't have time for this. Can you just tell me what you're doing? You don't see this. I love it. It's fine. It's fine. Catch you later. Are you going inside the closet? Yeah. You got a problem with that? Glitch was so no. grand the character felt it. Do what you think is right, detective. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Goodbye, Miss Harlow. Oh, flashbang. Oh, it's too late for that, man. It's 2.30 in the morning. Oh, Jesus. Oh, okay. Flashlight. There we go. We have snow now? And we're... Are we inside of a boat again? I'm assuming yes. Let's go this way. I got turned around. We were, in fact, inside of a boat. Okay, ice pick. That's a new weapon. We are almost at the end of this game and it just now gives us the flare gun. I should know the creaking by now because it sounds like exactly where you live. Sallow offering. Green we found the ancient Stellarium perched on a cliff facing Fuck. the Arctic Ocean after a day of sailing due north of the Eskimo encampment. Eskimo? Look Jacob how they spell that shit. was our most keen member of the expedition. He had been chasing down the source of a peculiar type of crystallized metal present in several sacred items among the natives on the northeast coast of Greenland. Crystallized metal. The site was a remarkable find for any explorer, and we were all enraptured in our search for enlightenment and meaning. The surviving architecture seemed almost unearthly in origin and astonishingly sophisticated. The metal Jacob was searching for was abundant, almost ubiquitous. We were so taken by our find that we were surprised by the sun falling below the horizon. As we quickly picked up our gear, ready to head back to our camp, Jacob von Ostadt declared that he wanted to stay. He was adamant. We begged him to reconsider. The night would be getting colder by the hour, and we feared for all our safety. Jacob refused, threatening us with violence if we wouldn't leave him alone. Oh, dang. As the snowfall turned heavier, we left him there on his own. The next day, the weather became worse, and we had to spend hours enforcing our shelter as our tents became increasingly useless. The group had written off Jacob, thinking he must be dead. I had an urge to make one final attempt to save him, so I headed out as darkness fell with a handful of flares and headed toward the coast and up the climb towards the Stellarium. That's when I saw him, transfixed by a burning sky, that celestial lantern. Jacob keeled over and let out a painful shriek that struck me with such fear and pity. He was crying in agony, for the cold weather had ravaged his flesh. I called out to him, and he turned to face me. His vacant stare held me in place like a needle through a butterfly, and he said, You must leave now, Ashton. Go, and never come back. And so I left. Jeez, man.
Light your way, keep going. Lantern. Three pistol bullets. Reload flare gun. Pistols out. Flare guns out. More flares. I'm trying to run. I'm like, the wind is like keeping the character from running. Why not use the North and South Pole as giant freezers? Because how would you get the food to your place to eat it in time before it thawed out? Imagine the flares were like the Molotovs and like they don't always <laughs> light. Ooh, we got the Aurora Borealis though. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, that, that's a that's a picture right there. That's a screenshot. That's beautiful. Look at that. Ice pick. Come on. Come on, you got it. Come on, Daddy Hop. What the hell is this? This is as fast as we can walk, by the way. The final boss, 14 pistol bullets? This might be the final boss. Nothing here. I was thinking uh, Skyrim vibes too, honestly. Hey you, what are you doing here? What is this place? Detective, you're not wanted here. Oh, take it easy. I'm not your enemy. Oh, you're wrong, detective. You're wrong. It's even got the Cthulhu mouth tentacles, man. This is Jacob von Ostad. Oh, this is the dude who got left. Fire does not hurt him, I see. You're kidding me that it was that easy. You're... We're playing on hard. Align the stars. Okay. Whoa. The fucking letdown? Yeah, to say the least, honestly. We're actually playing on hard. Sacrificial dagger. Talisman. Shut the fuck out of him? Yeah, no. Absolutely. Of course, the Taurus. I figured you wouldn't want your stars aligned, Jeremy, or maybe that is what you need to temper that mania of yours. We didn't even use a full mag on him, though. That That's what's surprising. One more. Phase two. He's fully transformed. Oh, now it's the final boss. 
Okay. Okay, that makes more sense. Scream though, dude. I actually hit him with that. It did nothing. Come on, come on, come on. Reload, reload. Right through the eye, right? Make me run from this dude. Please don't, man. Did everything. Aren't you happy? Stupid charlatan. What more do you want from me? You want me to lose my mind? Oh, my lord. <gasps> Doctor. Baptiste. Please. <laughs> Jesus. What were you thinking, Compad? We're literally just pistol whipping someone. Okay. Holy shit. Whoever said this game was like five hours lied to me. Was that not the final boss? Why is there blood on the ground? Accumulating. We got lobotomized. I I'm pretty sure we got You're lobotomized. Awake? You are awake. We have to have been lobotomized, <laughs> right? Up. Hey, buddy! I thought you'd be knocked out for the rest of the night. <laughs> no, okay. Come on out and join us, will you? Pistol whipping I'll a clerk at Kroger. <laughs> they deserved it. Good to have you back. You gave us all a good scare. What happened? You had a psychological breakdown. Sorry for manhandling you, but he's You'll be invited. Hey, brother. He Sorry I whooped your ass, but... Punch Dr. Gray. Is what it is. Okay. Jeremy's a little strange, but everything's back to normal. Really? All thanks to you, Combat. You want to try standing up? I wouldn't have pistol whipped the clerk had they had well, more than one person at checkout. Isn't the hero of the day. How are you feeling, Detective? Never Beat the shit out of him, dude. His eye is too? fucked up. Hey, Jeremy, I didn't do too much damage, did I? Things are fine. Very quiet. What's up with him? Painkillers? We no. lobotomized him. You see, despite you having the finesse of a one-eyed butcher... <laughs> no way. You managed to lobotomize, dear Jeremy. No way, dude. I did what? It's actually quite impressive. It's not like I hadn't considered it myself. I just wish Jeremy could have 
been helped without reducing his personality to that of an oyster. <laughs> He's gonna live. An oyster. Of course. As long as someone keeps feeding him, he'll outlive the best of us. God. What now, dude? We've we've done everything. I thought we got lobotomized the way we woke up in the chair, but it was the other way around. Good to see you back on your feet, detective. Have some gumbo. The, the gumbo doesn't I'll even save move. It for later. All right. Um, what's our objective now? Obsolete items have been archived. Literally everything. We have like three items on us. Love that. Everything was back to normal. Did any of it really happen? What had Conby actually been doing all night? Okay. It says we gotta leave. We gotta go back to Nolans. I don't really want to talk to everyone. What are you but... looking for? Just keeping an eye out, Portstone. Radio says it could be a wild one. What do you mean keeping an eye out for the storm? It's currently piss pouring cats and dogs, man. Can't you hear it? Wait for Miss Hartwood. No? I, well, that may be what we have to do, actually. I guess when we're done talking to everyone, we wait on her. Can't talk to her. All right, I don't care about these other characters enough to talk to them. We're going to wait for Miss Hartwood. Everyone knows what to do. Y'all know the new words. Mrs. Thompson, we talked about this. I'm not sure everyone is comfortable. Doctor, I insist. This is important. We've waited for so long, Doctor. Let's just go with the old song. Not every change is an improvement. Boss, good or bad, you need to move forward. All in, Doc. Let's bet it all. Oh, God. But we don't know what we're dealing with. It'll be okay, Doctor. Better even. She's creepy as shit, dude. She is creepy as hell. Hell are their praises in abundance to the black goat of the woods. Hear us, brother. Take pity on us. Take pity on us! Hear us and pray to the black goat of the woods! Hear us and take pity on us! Take pity on us! Take pity on us! Hear us and pray to the black goat of the woods! Hear us and pray to the black goat of the woods! Is that a Molotov? Jeremy, come with me. Get over here. Jeremy, come with me. Jeremy, come here. The tree just picked him up. Is this going to be a running scene? Stop the black goat. I can't let that monster leave Dersetto. I have to stop it. 
What in the hell is going on, dude? None of this even makes any fucking sense now. Do we go up? Ammo? Right there on the ground. Grab that. Machine gun cartridge. Go around. No, 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 no. I, I was not going up here. We want that ammo right there. And I can't get back down. Oh, you're kidding. If our main character truly is insane, this makes sense, but I do agree with you guys. Exactly, and you're here for it? Mm, hell yeah. Okay. Jesus. I don't know what to do or shoot or anything like that. the acid reload 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 you know what nah Heal up. I'm almost out of ammo already on everything except for the pistol. Oh, never mind. More machine gun. What the hell do I do here? Oh, it's got pustules on its head. Got it? Now what? Oh, shite. Okay. Do I melee it? Crucifix is a weapon. Oh, God. out more enemies as we go, dude. What the shit, dude? What is this boss fight? We die here. We are six hours and 45 minutes into this game and we just hit our first death. He should have just let the girl. Die. Yeah. Blood most recent. Why is it not? Thank you. I don't understand this boss fight in the slightest. I think I'm supposed to destroy the little, like, pustules in the legs or whatever the hell it is. Yes, first death. I'm not trolling. That is our actual first death. I've done so well throughout this game. And whatever in the hell just happened just now, I... Is what it is. 
Good. Can't skip it. Can't skip it. Yeah, those little glowing, like, skin tags I've got to take care of. I think. I think that's how it works. Shotgun's full now. Huh? Okay, got that one. And then it'll grow more. Yep, on the left side now. Got it. There's that one. Whoop. Already. Okay. Okay, it's gonna start pooping out enemies. I don't know if hitting it right now does anything for us. Let's take care of ads as soon as possible. Reload, reload, reload. Oh, come on, you should be dead by now. Now the boss is up too. Didn't reload, because why not? I think it just continually spawns enemies until we destroy it. Three rounds. I thought we died, oh my god. Reload. No, 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 we need to shoot. What are you doing? Reload, 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 reload. I don't think it wants to hear the bibble. Please, no. One hit juggled? Like from mostly full health? Like did we just take like four hits at once and die? scene that we can't skip. All tentacle fans must be happy. Listen, when you think about getting fucked by tentacles, I don't think anybody thinks about it in this fashion, okay? I think they've got slightly different things in mind. Reload. Beautiful. I like this, like, music to fight the boss, though. I will say that. Woo! That hit us. I don't know if I hit that one or not. I did. Okay. All right. Shotgun shells are there. Crucifix, we'll grab that. Pistol bullets. One hit quit? Come on, come on. Kill them all as soon as I spawn. 
No time to accumulate. One more and he gets up. I'm all out of bullets. Shit! Shit! Reload, reload, reload. Jesus. Come on, come on, come on. Reload already. How's that not hitting? Why did that knock me down just now? Can I melee it? I cannot. Reload. Reload. I just got hit. Oh, on the ground. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I just took a shit ton of damage for no reason without getting hit. Reload. This is so stupid. Come on, come on. Machine gun ammo. Reload, reload. Go. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Reload. 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 It's not that hard to reload, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. That hit me somehow? Heal? Fucking die. The music just cuts. That was such a dissatisfying boss fight. Oh my god, dude. The techno. Oh, what the hell was that? I try to tell you. There was so much evidence. Their devotion to the black goat was like nothing I've ever seen before. I felt so dumb believing any of it, but I'm glad I did. Are you okay? Everything is out of order. This isn't the way the story goes. I shouldn't be alive. Yeah. Oh, you're welcome, buddy. The ceiling of the porch is not blue. Taro. How are you doing, sweetie? I kind of like it. You ruined everything, but I'm not mad. Why did the kid literally go to be sacrificed on her own, of her own accord, and then run away? All right, you ready to head back to New Orleans? Come on, Jeremy. We're leaving. Can I come? <laughs> well, I thought you said you didn't need saving. We found your uncle. Don't leave her. She's important. And then we lobotomized of him. We're taking her with us. So, I I I guess I I guess we're worth the the money that that she paid for our private eye services. I I I don't know. I'm not so positive I, for one, would call that a W, but here we are. 
that line from Jeremy's the thriller original where Jeremy had already committed soy sauce. Yeah. Okay. Awesome stream. Hey, thanks, Eric. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Thanks for the help, too, with the throwing, by the way. I'm glad somebody told me how in the hell that worked. Because I was so confused, man. So thank you for that. All right. I'm not going to watch these. We're going to back out. Hard. Six hours, 39 minutes, and 24 seconds. Okay. Thanks for playing this game. I'm a happy mod. Well, if Tarot's happy, I'm happy. Great stream. Thanks, Emma. Emma, you should come hang out in the Discord with us sometime, too. Seriously. Come come chill and hang out off stream. It's a cool stream. Thanks, Critical. I, I love each and every one of you. Thank you guys for being here. I think we're up to... We're over 1,800 subs now. Uh, last time I checked, it was 1818. Yeah, we're at 1818 right now. I like numbers that are like that, that are repetitive. Huge thank you to each and every one of you, whether you are here now or here earlier, we'll be here in the future watching the replay. Love all of you guys. Thanks for being a part of the channel and for making it what it is. You guys are great. I hang out in there a lot. You're just not always on, buddy. But I'm going to go ahead and head out of here, guys. I might pop in the Discord for a minute, but uh, I'm going to eat me a snack and get ready for bed. And I hope everyone has a wonderful night and a wonderful morning. And uh, we'll be back at it tomorrow. So, love you all. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.